me. I'm alive, everybody. Oh, wow. I don't like this angle. Wait, that is very high up. I'm not used to this angle, but I'm just going to, okay, that's a little bit better. But you could still see my sweatpants that are really hideous that I try tie-dyeing and they're like not great. But hi, how is everybody? What's going on? I'm finally live again. And I have my tarot cards, but I also have my gel nails. My, yeah, my, what is this? This is not my gel nails. I have the kit to the gel nails that I've been wanting to do, but I was like, okay, if I'm going to get this kit, I might as well do it on live. Hey, Daydream Stalls. Is that your name? Daydream Stalls. Ooh, what a clever name. I love it. Sorry. I'm just trying to, okay. So I'm sick of like not having my, okay. Men in the chat. Does it matter if someone doesn't have their nails done? Probably not. But like, it makes me feel good when I have my nails done for some reason. I don't know what it is. I know, also I've like looked up studies on nail polish and obviously it, it has a negative effect. I mean, it's, obviously it's not gonna be a positive effect on one's health, um, <laughs> but do I do designs? on my nails. Oh, honey, I can't even, I don't even know if I could do my nails, period. But, but I can try. <laughs> I'm like, but wait, I can try. Hey, Chris, greetings. Greetings from the, uh, whoa, I forgot that I could, why, well, I, I don't think I could do it with this hand. Isn't that weird? The human body is so weird that like, oh, wait, I can't. Oh, that kind of hurts though. I can kind of do it. Interesting. She sucks her thumb. Me? I'm a thumb sucker, really, really? But uh, I forgot what I was even talking about like five seconds ago, that's the funny part. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, the axolotl, I still don't even know how to say it. The axolotl queen is back. I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad you remembered my existence. I'm so happy. Thumbs, thumbs? Oh, you, you retracted the message and now I suck both thumbs? Actually, interesting fact. It's part of genetics, but if you're watching this, the six people that are, take your thumb out right now. You're like, yeah, my thumb's been out this whole time. And go like this, okay? Like this. Thumbs up, baby. You know, just pretend like you're like, to the, to the guy that's plowing your street and you're like, thanks. Sorry, there's snow where I am right now. So like, that's why, I, that's what I did to him this morning. I said, thanks. <laughs> Honestly, people should give out like hot cocoa to like the plow people. You know, like, I feel like that's a, that's like a must. Anyway, whatever. Okay. So if you're doing this, there's what's called a straight thumb. And there's what's called a hitchhiker's thumb. And a hitchhiker's thumb goes like, and it like freaking bends. And it's actually pretty abnormal to have a straight thumb, which I have. This is a straight thumb. A hitchhiker's thumb is just like, ooh. And I wonder, I know it's genetic. But I wonder why, like why, I mean, I, I'm sure that the reason why I have a straight thumb is because I'm evolutionary, not the favored, like I am not surviving in the Galapagos Islands <laughs> or wherever. Like I am not survival of the fittest with this thumb, but it's just interesting to note like the weird things that the human body does. But no, daydream stalls left. What? Oh, oh, they said, never mind. Oh, okay. Kaylin says, I mean, when you go to a nail artist, you ask for design. Um, I don't think, I, I don't think honestly I ever have. It's like $5 extra and I'm not about to pay that. Like, let's talk, let's talk about being real for a second. All right. I'm not going to pay someone. Well, okay. It's not them. I'm not going to pay a company that probably owns this nail salon an extra $5 to do like a little who, who. Okay. By the way, my opinion might change by the end of this video after I do my nails and realize that I actually can't do um, shit from Shinola, but that's not what the saying is. It's you don't know shit from Shinola. It's not, you can't, whatever. But you know what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't know. Five, $5 extra just for like a little squiggle that like one person's gonna notice. And you know, the one person that notices is like, you know, your pharmacist. 
And you're like, it, you're like, you love your pharmacist, pharmacist, right? Like they're fine. They're a good, per like they're nice. You, if you know, if it was a different life, maybe you would invite them to your baby shower. I don't, I'm not having a baby, by the way. I don't know why I even said that. Probably because like a bunch of people are having babies in my life, but not me. No, I'm not. Anyway, that sounded so like, oh, that's all I could think of. Anyway, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, but no, I, I, you know, I wouldn't invite them. <laughs> Iron Wolf 56, let's go. Oh my God. You know what I just realized, Iron Wolf? And I'm going to still call you that because I love it. I just love the name, even though I know your name with the J. But you know what I know? I owe you a hat. I owe you a hat. I was going to send you a hat and I said it. And I got back from being in the Midwest for two months. Not four. Two months. That was just for like double, double uh, purpose, whatever. Yes, I meant to send you a hat and I'm going to send you a hat. Um... <laughs> Chris! Wait, Chris, wait, I wanted to go back and say, oh, wait, because, wait, I thought Chris, oh, you, you said we've got tons of snow. Okay, Chris, how do you pronounce it? Do you, per, do people pronounce it St. Louis or St. Louis? Because, like, I always thought that Louis was L-E-W-I-S, but, like, and whenever I see St. Louis, I, I think it's St. Louis, like, I think it's, like, L O. Anyway, whatever. I've only been there once, actually. And I don't know. I don't know how I've never talked to you about this. The only time I've been to St. Louis, St. Louis, whatever anyone wants to call it, was for the solar eclipse back in, like, it wasn't that long ago. Um, I want to say, like, four years ago-ish, maybe. I don't know. That's the one time I went and I saw the arches. I saw the iconic arches. Um, but anyway, I don't know how to, pr you know, say it properly, but yes, Iron Wolf, I owe you it. That's what I wanted. You know, I wanted to send it. And then I went away to the Midwest for two months and I forgot that I existed here on the East coast. And I was like, oh my God. And then you just reminded me by just like being in this chat. I was like, whoa, not Louis, Louis. Really? I like Louis. It makes me feel fancy. <laughs> Louis. Oh my god. That's why Zenu makes fun of me whenever I say Louis St. Louis, Missouri. That's funny. Okay, well, now at least I know. At least I know. But also I'm from the East Coast, so I say things a little bit. Okay, comment down below. Do I have a, a New York accent? Like, do I have like a Long Isle? I mean, I don't I don't like draw out the O's. But even when I said draw, it kind of sounded like I did. I don't know. Like, I sometimes I feel like I do. But maybe it's like the way that I talk like loud and do, but do, but do, do, but maybe I don't have like the accent. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I hear people all the time with like, see, even all the time, all the time. Did I say it? Or am I imagining? But you do not have any. That's what I thought. I don't think that I, um, I don't know what it is. Like, I think that maybe, maybe when I get like, you know, I go on live and then I'm like, all of a sudden I'm just like more outgoing than I usually am. I start being like, I channel my inner, like, okay, I have an uncle and his name is Eddie. And <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say his real name, but honestly, I'm sure if, if I told him that I said his real name, he would be like, thanks. You know, like, like New York, they're like, thanks. Like that, that'll bring me business. You know what I mean? That, by the way, I was doing his accent when I did that. I wasn't that, obviously I had an accent there. But anyway, I channel my inner Uncle Eddie because Uncle Eddie is like the most outgoing, like if he wanted to travel throughout the United States all of the summer, the whole summer, he could. Like he could sleep in a bed for the whole summer. You know what I mean? Like he just like has people here, here, here. Cause he's that friendly outgoing guy. It talks like this and, and he makes you feel like you guys are like closer than you. And I'm like, sometimes I channel that to like, not like in a fake way, just like in a, I think like in a natural, like that's, that's what I aspire. I aspire to like, you know, have everyone relate and 
you know, be funny and outgoing and da 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 ba ba da. <laughs> Everyone's like, what are you saying? They're like, you're not speaking English at this point. But you know what I mean, okay? I'm, I'm channeling, that's what I always say. I'm channeling my inner Uncle Eddie. But I can't believe it's St. I can't believe it's like St. Louis, not St. Louis, because I always said St. Louis and I can't. But, okay, sorry, I'm going back in the chat. I'm saying hi to Noah Tyson and Nico if they're still there. I'm saying hi to Aixa, Aixa, Schulist. I'm saying hi if you're still here too. Um, Because I, you know, I've been ranting for five minutes and no one, everyone's like, okay, you got to move on from this Uncle Eddie bit right now. Um, oh, Aixa's live keeps rewinding. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably not saying your name right. I have very poor pronunciation. I made a video, a whole YouTube video on Baba Vanga. Oh, wait, I still am saying it wrong to this day. And someone comments like, it's Baba Vanga. And I'm like, who would know that? Like, I mean, okay, that just goes to show that I don't just watch other people's YouTube videos and then like repurpose them in my own words. Like I actually am trying to like read the research and I don't know how it's pronounced when I'm, I'm researching. I'm reading it over and over again. Baba Vanga, Baba Vanga. You know, like that, I mean, when you're from Eastern Europe, you would think it's a Baba Vanga. You don't think it's a Baba Vanga, you know? So then this guy's like, no, you're not saying it right. And I'm like, oh my God, are you gonna sue me? Like, what are you gonna do? You know, so anyway, that's a long story to say that I'm very bad at pronunciating. Enunciating? Pern oh my God, is that's not even a word. Pronouncing, oh my God. Enunciating is like clear, right? Concise, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> a Pookie Wookie 16, also love the name. You def have an accent a bit. Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. Well, like, sometimes, okay, I feel like you want an accent, like, you don't want an accent, and then you're like, no, I don't have an accent, and then people are like, you have an accent, and you're like, ooh, like, you feel a little bit like, ooh, you know? I don't know, maybe, oh my god, but then that reminds me of that TikToker, Michaela. Does anyone know Michaela? I forgot her last name. She's like a huge beauty influencer, and she does, she did, she had the mascara gate thing, where she, like, you know, did the mascara and her eyelashes like grew like 10 times. And then she was like, no, it was all like the product. I swear it wasn't anything to do with me putting false eyelashes on. And then she like never addressed it. Or maybe I'm just making that up. But Michaela's accent. Was it? Yeah, Michaela's accent was like, oh my God, I can't even say it today. Like it was, it's really, really, really extreme which is fine, right? Like we live in different parts of the world. We live in different parts of the United States even. Like it's crazy. Sorry, side note, side note. I'm doing this in, I'm decompart, wait, com compart compartalizing. I don't know, whatever. I Now I'm in this thought. People from Boston and New York, it's not that far. New York, Philly, not that far. All different accents crazy. Who would think? Anyway, whatever. Moving on. But Michaela, right? So she's doing this mascara thing. Her eyelashes are super long, even though they're not like naturally that long. Like it's clear that she like put on a fake eyelash, right? I know the people that don't wear makeup in this chat, you might not realize, but like when you put a false eyelash on, like I have pretty long eyelashes. Thank you to my Armenian bloodline that has also made me have a mustache at the age of 10, 11, and maybe be bullied. So the least I can get are these lashes, but whatever. They are longer than mine when you have fake eyelashes, right? So hers were like this long. And then hers naturally were like at least half the size of mine, right? And she's going on there pretending like she has, those are her natural lashes and she's just using the mascara because it's a product placement or whatever, advertisement, sponsorship. And she's like, oh my God, this mascara is ridiculous. And people are pointing out that her accent is fake. People that went to school with this woman, like 
you know, in wherever she's from, Boston, Long Island, Boston, Long Island, the Jersey Shore. I don't know where the heck she's from. <laughs> but I do know that she is one lying about the mascara that she she's lying that she has fake eyelashes on. Two, what else is she lying about? Her accent could easily be a lie, but isn't that so hard to keep up? I can't imagine speaking like that for like one live on YouTube, let alone your whole like social media career. Also, is that a strategy? Do people have fake accents just to get like followers? Like, is her accent so rare that people are that interested in it? That's an interesting thought. Like, do accents make people... If you're targeting a specific location and the accent is very different than the, you know, native speaker from that location, are they more intrigued with the person? I don't know. It's just like a weird thing because, I don't know, because you usually like people that are similar to you. So you would like people that are also from the same place, that also have the same accent as you, whatever it may be. But then there's this thing that we're intrigued by, like, people that are different in a way. And it's like, well, this girl is, you know, speaking like no one has in your school, let alone your workplace, let alone your town. And you're like, oh my God, I haven't even seen someone speak like this besides the movie theater when I was watching Wolf of Wall Street. You know, that's the lot, like Leonardo DiCaprio was the last person that I heard speaking in a Long Island accent. Until, you know, Michaela came out with the mascara and everyone was shook. Everyone was shook. Um, but anyway, Baba is granny. Yes. Yay. Hi. Thank you. Yours is nice, though. It gives some zing in your words. Pack the cat. Pack the cat and have a yad. Isn't that what people say? Um, Craig says, hey, Kayla, just saying hi. I'm snow plowing. You're snow plowing, Craig? Are you, do you snow plow? Wait. Maybe you're gone by now. I probably ranted too long about my ac or my lack of or accent. I don't know. I don't know. But Craig, if you're still on, I miss you. <laughs> Where have you been? Plowing. Oh my God. I also want to like learn about plowing. Like how does that, like has there been new technology? Is the plowing world going to be influenced by like artificial intelligence? Are there like drones that fly around through towns and they like, you know, monitor the, like, height of the snow within different streets and the plow goat. Like, that's crazy. It's like an Uber, but for plows. Do they have that? Don't copy my idea. Thanks. That's how I'm going to be a billionaire, everybody. Anyway, um, I just saw Pookie Wookie 16. Thank you so much. I love you. Hello, I am Ameline. Am I saying that right? Ameline? Ameline? And then Ameline said bye. No, I lost Ameline. Anyway, what, we're moving on. We're picking up the pace here. Anna Pitcher says, hey, hey, girl. Hey, Princess Sunshine. Hi, bye. Another, another quick hi and a quick bye, which is fine. Um, oh, Iron Wolf 56, a.k.a. J. Let me ask you this, Kayla. What do you know... What do you most know Arnold Schwarzenegger for? Um, I know Schwarzenegger for... Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> actually, this is actually an interesting story. I went to the MTV Movie Awards back in... It wasn't that long ago, but it had to have been 2015, 2014. And Schwarzenegger was at this you know, the, the red carpet and wait, was it him? Was he the guy on Baywatch or am I thinking of someone completely different now? Oh my God. I need my laptop. Where's my laptop? Was he on Baywatch? And he's like, he was on SpongeBob too. Arnold. Wait, no. Who am I thinking of? I asked someone to be my father and it was maybe, wait, was it Arnold Schwarzenegger? Wait, one second. Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, it wasn't even him. No, it wasn't even him. How did that? Oh, cause I'm. I... No, it wasn't even him. How did that? Oh, cause I'm. I... No, it wasn't even him. What is that? Oh, cause I'm. 
I think, I thought that I was on live on my computer. Like I, I tested it before I went live to make sure it was working. And then I quit Google Chrome and it was still playing and I got freaked out. So I closed it, but I'm thinking of, you know who I'm thinking of. I know exactly who I'm thinking. Yes. Hasselhoff. That's what I was thinking of. Oh my God. Anyway. Um, for the, uh, story that I was randomly telling for no reason, yes, Hasselhoff was the one that I asked him to, I said, David Hasselhoff, will you be my dad? And he laughed. He didn't, he didn't accept the offer. He didn't pay me anything. <laughs> I'm like, that's what they're for. I'm like, well, I was under 18. So like child support, but anyway, I did see him and I thought that would be funny because it's like weird if like a young girl like says anything else but that well I think it was probably weird for him either way maybe I didn't look like I was underage at the time but either way it was still but what else are you gonna do when Hasselhoff is in the building and by building I mean the red carpet of the MTV MTV movie awards 2015 or 14 can't remember which one it was but yeah sorry I totally didn't even think why was I immediately thinking of David Hasselhoff? That is insane. <laughs> that is crazy. But I did really ask that. And I have, um, well, I don't think I have a photo with him. Because I think he was, like, behind me in line. Which is a crazy fact. Like, like, why was I, oh, by the way, I wasn't invited for, obviously, I wasn't invited for any media purposes. I wasn't, like, you know, an influencer or whatever. I was just hanging with like one of my friends' moms who worked for one of the companies that were showing up at the MTV Movie Awards. And she hooked us up with like the red carpet. We weren't the red carpet, like the celebrity red carpet, but there's another red carpet next to it that's like for like a little bit below them. Weird, whatever, we were there. And then there's like the whole, the all the other people. Like there was like these stands and they were walking by and the paparazzi, whatever. So we're like in this little area, right? I don't know why though. At the end of it, we all go like merge in a single file line basically and go into the, I don't know, theater? Should I call it that? Theater, whatever. And David Hasselhoff for some reason is behind me. And I'm like, I'm like, what? Like, you worked this hard in your life for me to be in front? Like, not that, like, in front of meant anything. It wasn't that. It was just the fact that these lines merged into one. And I was like, like, bro, this is embarrassing for you. Like, didn't you make a SpongeBob cameo? Like, I worked at Nickelodeon as an intern. And, and here I am walking in front of you asking you to be my father. And, and you're still, like, single file line behind me. Anyway, I should have taken a photo. Otherwise, now I sound like I'm blind. But I do have photos with other celebrities at the movie awards. For example, photo with Zac Ef Efron, Efron, whatever you want to say. Photo with um, Jessica Alba. I do have that. Um, and I could like make a, I, I should make a little compilation of this. It's interesting. Well, not this whole experience. Actually, the most... Oh my god, my brain is just so like... Zoom, zoom, whatever. The most... Um, interesting experiences with celebrities have obviously not been at an award show. Because, like, they know going into it that they're going to see people. You know? Like, they're, like, preparing for it. You know, they have their best outfit. They have their best makeup. Like, they're ready for the night. Whatever. But the most interesting, like, celebrity encounters I've had have been just, like, middle of the night, walking in Manhattan, bump into Jonah Hill. Literally. And I sound like I'm a liar right now. I have a really good eye for faces. This is the one positive I'll say about myself. <laughs> Besides my accent, okay? I like it now. I, I started to like... No, I'm just kidding. Okay. But... The one positive that I say, like I just when people are like, how do you how do you even realize or how did you like when I'm watching a movie, right? I'll see an actress, actor, and I'll be like, oh my god, that's the person that was like midway through this movie. And people are like, oh my god, really? Like I didn't even see it. Or if someone's like, oh, is that the actress from blah blah blah? And it's not, I'm like, nope. 
Like I can quickly be like, no, or yes, or this is who it is, or I think they're famous and I'm going to Google it and find it out, whatever. So anyway, um, so yeah, I have a lot of experiences in Manhattan. Shout out Weeds and Ivy. Should be a voice actor. Ooh, ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> I'm taking David Hasselhoff to the cleaners. I was secretly a child star. No, no, no. I wish I was a, well, not now. I'm glad that I wasn't a child star because like, you know, we all know how it ends. Well, not like end end, but like, you know, we all know what the, the route is that you go on when you're a child star. Okay. Um, so I'm glad I'm, I wasn't, but at the time I did audition for one thing and I was, I was, and it was definitely a scam thing. Like it was one of those things that you heard on the radio, like Z100 or 92.3 now. Um, I, I don't know how long ago, oh, sorry. These are stations that are in the Northeast. I should say maybe just New York. I don't know. But what I was going to say was that it was a radio advertisement about like, does your child have what it takes to be the next Selena Gomez? Does your child want to feature on Hannah Montana? You got to call this number. 1-800-I'm-going-to-ruin-your-child phone number. That is 1-800. Not too long. Ruin child. No. Bad child. That's what it is. 1-800-BAD-CHILD. Call us. If you want your child to end up being bad. Anyway, whatever. So my mom, so I was like, mom, please, please. Ah, I want to be famous. Ah. And I was like annoying and I'm still, I'm annoying, but whatever. At the time I'm like, please. And so my mom takes me, she drives me to New Jersey, South Jersey, whatever, on a random day. And I audition and I'm like, oh my God, I, I aced. I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm this, I'm that. Also, I'm like a teenager. So I'm like, oh my God, whatever. And I like, I remember auditioning with like a serial bar, like script. And they, they told you the script like a few minutes before you went on air and air. I mean like them just videoing it and whatever. Anyway, long story short, I thought I aced it. I was like, I'm going to be the next Hannah Montana. My life is set. Like I'm going to be a millionaire, whatever. Then I get home, I'm living my life and it's like a few days later and my mom gets a call from them and they're like, oh, you know, you got to bring her in every day for lessons, which is probably the whole thing was probably a scam. Like they just wanted me to pay for their acting school that they said Taylor Lautner went to. I don't know if he actually did. I never figured it out, but I was so pissed at my mom for not actually doing it. My mom was like, I'm not like the other moms. I'm not a stay at home mom. I can't drive you every day. And I'm like, what? And I, I vividly remember, like, this is like, this is like one of my worst nightmares. Well, it sounds dramatic, but whatever. Like, I just remember it still. Like, it's that ingrained. Like, I wanted it that bad that when I was told, like, no, sorry, like, it's not happening. I was like, this is the worst day ever. Like, the fact that I made it, even though they probably like pass everyone, just like sell their scam of a, acting class or whatever but the fact that I thought I made it and like the thing that was holding me back was like my mom had to work because my parents are divorced I was like furious I was like oh my god my life is over anyway I don't even know how or why I got into this whole thing oh because yeah because <laughs> me being a Nickelodeon child star um yeah, no, I wish, but also like, no, because yeah, 1 800 bad kids. But yeah, honestly, maybe everything happens for a reason. That's the lesson. For, and I haven't even painted my nails yet, and it's been 30 minutes. So, who am I? Oh my God, my eyeliner. I am a chaotic person that makes spooky content on the internet for fun. Ooh, moo. Oh, moo. Oh, gee, wait, I heard that commercial before. That was you. No, no, no. I don't think I got that. I don't think I got that role. I sat at a bar with Trent Reznor watching an industrial band. He bought me and my girlfriend each a drink. That's really nice. Isn't that nice when people, like, buy drinks? It's like, it's like the smallest gesture, like, always makes my... I'm always, like, shook by it. I'm like, no way. Because, like, 
It has only happened twice, I think, in my entire life. That's, But also, I don't leave my house. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that. I don't know. Whatever. I, I don't know how many drinks I would get. But I think I've only gotten two in my lifetime. One at a concert. Um, and I was so creeped out by the person that I took it and ran into the bathroom and came out the other exit of the bathroom. Cause I was, but like, so that's kind of mean of me. Right. But also like, no, what do I owe them? They bought me a drink. Like, I don't know. Because like when someone buys you drinks, you feel like you owe them something. You don't, you owe them. Sorry, I dropped something. You owe them shit from Shinola. But again, I'm using it wrong, but there is something about, sorry, I'm trying to get into this whole nail thing because we're so bad at distracting you. I, it's a fine. I have nothing to do. I don't know why I'm even pretending like I had a, um, name a car for an edit. Another car for an edit. Ooh. What about a, ooh, wait. Okay. I, I'll, I'll give you a few options. Okay. A Porsche, Porsche Macan. Macan, is that how you say it? But also the Kia no, is it the Kia Telluride or is it a, okay, Kia Telluride, I think that's what it's called, Hyundai Genesis, one of those, I don't know which one, I'm, I'm in the market for a new car because I lease cars and that's not what I was supposed to do with this, I lease cars because I just, I don't like when things go wrong with cars and I just can't like, you know, I can't have it go to kaput. I sound like I'm from the Northeast now again. Anyway, I can't have it be whatever. And then I have to go to a mechanic and they're like, that's a thousand bucks. I'm like, what? And I don't even drive that much, like that many miles a year to like want to buy a car. I don't know. I just don't want to own like a jalapo. Jalopy? I don't know. I forgot how you say it. But anyway, yeah, I think I make a good decision by leasing. I think I like, I, I've had a good experience for the past three years of my lease. I've really enjoyed it. You know, I bring it to the dealership every year and I get you know, free, whatever, alignment, this, that, whatever it is. Bada bang, bada boom. Now I'm really embracing the Northeast. But, um, oh, Stitch Girly, I love you. I love you, Stitch Girly. Thank you for being here. You're the best. I love you, Stuffies for Life. I also love Stuffies, oh my God. I, I don't think I have one here because um, the only stuffies I have down here are like my cat stuffies, the cat that like almost clawed my eyeball out that I still have because I'm not a mean person. I'm not gonna throw my cat out on the street. Also, I'm like, I can't, I couldn't even give my cat to like a loving family. Like I had the cat for like a month and I still was like, wait, but what? But like, what if I'm meant to have him? Like, I don't want to give him away. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I just can't do it. I don't know how people just easily give, especially when they've had like animals, dogs, whatever, for like five years. And they're like, bye. And I'm like, well, I guess if you have like a very, you know, if, if you're, if your life is not giving them the life that they deserve, then I get it, I guess. I just, I just, I just couldn't. I don't know. Oh my God. This comes with three nail files. Wow. What a good deal. Sorry, this is not sponsored in any way possible form. This was like 30 something dollars on Amazon. I thought that I would be, you know, saving some money if I were to do my nails at home versus like going. I never was like the type of person to get my manicure done. But, you know, it's always nice. It's, it's sometimes nice going to the nail salon, getting a pedicure, whatever, massage. So I was like, okay, why don't I buy the set and like do it? So whatever. It comes with three. <laughs> I'm not, Again, this is not QVC. I am not... Like, use promo code, yeah. Even though I do that, just not on this, okay? This is the real thing. So you'll see if I hate it. I will tell you if I hate this thing. Anyway, three nail files, cool. I have like five million. Some of them are actually from radio stations when they used to promote themselves, like at like like local events. They would like they would have a stand and they would have like a raffle thing and you would like spin the wheel and never win. And you were like, what? But anyway, but then you still have the nail file to this day. That might just be me. And I might have to post a photo of it because people are probably like, what are you talking about? 92.3 now. It was 92.3 FM. It was like a pop station, like in the 2010s in like New York, maybe the North. I don't know how, how far the radio, whatever goes. But anyway, they shut down randomly. I'm like, what? Like everyone listened to this. Why do they shut down? Were they spending their money too much? Also, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, 
file my my nails and the noise bother anyone so if it if it's bothering you i'm like tell me because i don't like like i hate when people take a straw like a mcdonald's straw specifically a mc a mcdonald's straw. it has to be a mcdonald's straw whatever and anyway and they like ooh, ooh. okay that did not look great but whatever <laughs> you know what i mean they're like doing the thing with the straw and it's making that like squeak I that that is worse to me than like nail filing slash like nails on a chalkboard whatever like I feel like nails on a chalkboard is like actually that does I, now that I think about it I'm like ew you know but yeah I don't even know what I'm saying oh yeah the, the straw thing so if this nail file thing is bothering you just let me know I don't even need to really file them. I mean they're pretty short but like I like to I like to um, shape them a little bit just so I'm not like, anyway, I'm hoping that for those, oh, I have a question. What's a weird food combination you love? Ooh, the first thing that I could think of just because I talked about it yesterday and just because I haven't had cranberry juice in a while, which I don't know if this counts as a food combination, but <sighs> I like have to like get a podium. After school, back in like middle school, maybe high school, early high school, I don't remember the exact dates, but I used to like fill a cup with Cheez-Its and I would eat the Cheez-Its because Cheez-Its are good, but they're so salty, right? And you want something a little bit sweet after to, to swig it down and it's a little dry, right? So I don't know why I would do a cranberry juice following the Cheez-Its. Like I wasn't like pouring the cranberry juice and eating like cereal. That That's absurd, that's insane. Like I'm not that crazy. I would see why you would think that, but I'm not. But I don't know, that's just like been one of my snack things. Not anymore. I mean, I kind of want, I, actually I was thinking about it like a few days ago and I was like, ooh, that might be good again. But yeah, I haven't had that in a while, but another weird food combination, mm, oh. Well, recently, I've been trying to be a little bit more healthy, healthy. I've been trying to be healthier with like the foods that I eat. So, and that doesn't mean that I like eat whole foods, not like the brand, but like whole food. Like I don't eat like non-saturated fats or non-packaged items. Like no, like I, that's far from the truth. But I do attempt to like have vegetables if I'm like hungry and already ate dinner instead of like eating like chips you know what I mean like I try to make it I try to satisfy like cravings with vegetables first just to see like oh are you just like hungry you know you didn't have enough protein in it what is it whatever anyway I'll take a can of like green beans or something like peas green beans corn one of those like a can right Take a can. I won't even heat it up. I don't know if that's illegal. <laughs> Imagine like the law is like, it's illegal to eat cans and to eat vegetables out of a can and not heat it up, but whatever. Who needs to heat it up? It's fine, cold, whatever. <laughs> I'm like giving everyone botulism. No, that's what, but that's what happens when you like heat it up and you keep it in the condensation of itself. I don't know, whatever. Um, And I'll just like, put a sauce on the side of my string beans or my peas or my corn. Cause I'm like, okay, we got the vegetable. So like we're doing, okay. Yes. It's a canned vegetable. It's not fresh. Yes. There's a lot of sodium in this, but at least I'm eating a vegetable and then I'll like dip it in like sriracha or like maybe a mayo sriracha. Yeah. This is really messed up or like a soy sauce. Like it depends, but yeah, I guess that's a weird food combination. It's like a canned vegetable and like a sauce of some sort. And I've tried multiple sauces or like a hard boiled egg. Like I got this thing from Costco that's like this big and it's just like a bunch of hard boiled eggs and like two packs. And I'm like, I need to eat more protein. I need to like, you know, be full, be fit, whatever. <laughs> Me being Cusco, Emperor's New Groove, whatever. Um, and then I'll like try, I'll like dip it in main. Like if you don't like mayonnaise, I don't know how to help you. Mayo is delicious. <laughs> like I just dip that in the mayonnaise and it's amazing. Um, ooh, stuffies for life. You're my bestie. Of course, I'll always reply to you. Don't ever doubt yourself. You make my whole year. Dance mom says, I have a question with, oh wait, you've already said, I already answered. Thank you for answering new sub. Woohoo. 
I love doing wheat crackers, cream cheese, and bagel. Bagel. Babel. Who is Babel? Bagel seasoning. That sounds really good and like a normal combination. I don't know why I immediately thought of like the weirdest combination that I could think of. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else that's like more normal. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm like an omelet maybe that is specifically has not banana is it banana peppers or no jalapeno like but the, like the little diced ones that come in a jar that is always good in an omelet with like hot sauce mushrooms onions even diced tomatoes like whatever you want actually maybe this is not the popular consensus i just love flavor i'm just like throw it in throw it in throw it in there's like only a few like two foods that i don't like um that i would be like okay no i don't need that which is which is weird because I do like a lot of foods, but one of the foods that I don't really like is one that people love, which is weird. Um, I had a pizza with blueberries and corn on it that was shockingly good. Whoa, interesting, Dale. That's an interesting combo. I feel like when I was younger, which is, okay, this Hawaiian pizza is a way more, I guess, like normal approach than blueberries and corn on a pizza. But when I was younger, like the Hawaiian pizza was like so absurd to me. I was like, how do people eat that? And then all I've craved since, well, not since, but like whatever. In the past few years, I'm like, you know what? That sounds amazing. Like the ham, the salt, the pineapple, the cheese. The tim I'm like, this is like, you need a little sweet to add, you know? So I, I totally understand it. It's kind of like a lot of people don't like fruit in their salads and it's like, but it's giving you like another flavor combo, you know? I mean, the fruit does have to complement like the cheese or the meat that it's with, that it's paired with, but it's not that hard to, you know, pair. It's like the watermelon and feta phenomenon. Me calling that a phenomenon. <laughs> like as if that's like groundbreaking. Um, but I would like to try pizza with blueberries and corn. <laughs> um, did I see the Natalia Grace docuseries? I did not. However, the last, oh, actually I just filmed, we didn't even post it yet, I just realized. The video that we're posting now is not on her, Natalia Grace, it's on, um, there's a show, there's a docu-series on, I think it's Hulu, it might be on Max or whatever it's called now, but it's like the Daughters of the Cult or something, and it's about the, um, Mormon Manson, so he's like the Manson, but the Mormon version. And so we did a video on that, but I was initially going to do something on the Natalia Grace do thing because I knew the docu-series was coming out and I don't, I know some, some about it, but I don't know like the full story. I know that the parents like left her and like left her in their apartment and were like, bye, because they said that she was older than she actually was on her birth, birth certificate, kind of similar to like the orphan that movie, that like weird movie that people were, or like that girl was actually like really old and she was lying about her age to the family that adopted her. So they were kind of like trying to go with that angle, but were they using her for that? I don't know. I need to watch the docu-series, I guess, because that is a very interesting, weird case. I don't know if she sued them or what happened, but yeah, poor girl. She was, I think, um, she was from Eastern Europe, I believe. I don't know what country she was from, but I know that she looked physically like she was younger because she had a um, genetic condition that, you know, made her smaller, made her features younger. The Ukraine, okay, that's what I was, I was thinking, like, was it Russia, was it Ukraine, something. But um, yeah, that's very, it was a very, weird because it's like why would they adopt her knowing that she has this condition and the, I don't know it's like our you probably know more than I do I probably have to watch the docu-series to really understand what was going on but that was it was either this one video that we were gonna do or this one um just because like you know the hype around the new shows coming up helps like the videos um, and it's just like whatever interests us. And honestly, I was, I think I was more interested about this than the other, but there's just something about cults that gets me every time. I'm like, I gotta do a cult. Like I gotta cover a cult. Like, I just want to like, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there are a bunch of psychiatrists, psychologists, whatever that 
or researchers, scientists, whatever, that study, like cult leaders, followers, whatever, they probably, but it's like, how many can you really study to understand why this happens? But it's insane that this whole idea happens so often, it seems, in different areas across the world. Like, people just blindly follow these people that claim that they're God. Like, I don't even know if I believe in, like, the God. Like, the God that we think of with the beard and whatever, the blue eyes, because he's, you know, whatever. By the way, I had a nun professor that I talked about in one of my shorts, and she was like, God is a woman. And I was like, whoa, that's, like, very progressive of you, Lady Kubicki, or not Lady, sister, whatever. Um, but what was I saying? I don't even remember, man. Oh, I got to Ooh. Why though, huh? I don't know. Here, I can like do it live for you. I was gonna, wait, but these colors are kind of crazy. Actually, I'll ask you guys what color I should do, but let me just quickly look up this. Uh, uh, uh. I forgot, that's what. I think, I thought that I was on live on my computer. Like I, I tested it. Why is it still going sure it on? And then I quit Google Chrome and it it's was still playing, playing my video. Out, so I closed it. But I'm thinking of, you know who I'm thinking of? I know exactly who I'm thinking. Yes. Ha I had to shut it off. There was no internet open. There was no Google Chrome open. It was just my voice ruining my eardrums. <laughs> I guess I'm not looking it up. So whoever wants to look it up and write what happened, or maybe I'll do a video on it, or maybe a short even. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what is going on with my laptop, but I'm not opening it again. Even though it's just, it's just playing out loud what I've been saying in the past, like, 46 minutes so it's nothing like it's not like it's playing like a video of me being like i hate all the people on youtube live um so it's not like oh i gotta close this but it's just annoying that it's like my voice like playing the same thing that i just talked about and i'm like i can't hear myself it's too much anime olive what's happening it's possessed poltergeist activity the laptop is possessed your computer is haunted i know I don't know. Wait, but I never got haunted vibes from a computer. But you know when a computer has a screen that's like, there's like a little in it and you're like, I didn't drop you. You know, like, it's just like one little dot that's like a, like the pixels are all different colored or something. And you're like, why are you like this? Like, I've only had you for a little bit and you're already like not working. And you're like, what is going on? I wish I could invite people into the live. I think I could have, but like, I think I could have when I set up the settings, but I don't really, I still don't know how to properly set up the settings. And yes, I did another last minute live <laughs> because oh, this is so hard. <sighs> Sorry, that sounded way more dramatic than it needed to be, but it does like take a certain like mood. Oh my God. Hi. Sorry, someone was, someone was there. It does take like a certain mood to be, um, like in the mood to go live. I don't know what it is. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I was like, you know, like David Dobrik, actually, no, he should not be live on the internet anymore ever. But you know what I mean? Like maybe if I was actually like, I would be like, oh yeah, I'm going live. But I'm just like, oh man, like, Who's gonna join? Like, what do I have to talk about? Who wants to hear me talk? Like, you know, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I have to put makeup on. I have to wear this. I have to do that. I have to go downstairs and be in this like background or else no one's gonna join. Like, I just like get caught up in that. And I'm like, I could literally probably go on the walking pad and just the walking pad isn't like my little treadmill thingy that like, what is that hand move? My little treadmill thingy that I could just like walk on and just chill. Like do do two things that, which I'm, which I'm trying. To, <laughs> it's not anyone's fault but my own. I have a very poor attention span length. That is not anyone's fault. Um, hey Zach. Oh, Zach, how's your life been? I watched your polar plunge video. Loved it. Um, Slay Sarah, new subscriber. Okay, Slay Sarah, Slay. I love how everyone uses Slay. 
It's like, I need to start using that more. Slay. It's like Slay Queen. It's like a ghost is like, he mer like literally, I, I, I posted a short of me in the woods and this ghost, I believe, spirit, whatever, um, said, when I said, like, who are you or something? Or are you, did you die here? Or something, I forgot what I said. And it said, he murdered me. And it like very clearly said he murdered me. Like, I was like, Oh my gosh, like what is going on? But wait, but yeah, imagine I just was like, slay. Like I, imagine like I'm just like on my little spirit box and then like someone's talking to me and I'm like, slay queen, like slay, you slay them. Like, would they be mad or would they be like, yeah, you're cool. I don't know. Do you think spirits know about like what's going on in today's world? Do you think they're like stuck in the whatever time period it was that they passed away in? What are your thoughts on this? Does anyone have any thoughts? I'm like trying to get like comments here. I'm like, does anyone have anything to say? I'm trying to like file my head. Do I have to file these? I don't know. Um, it's my first day back to college for my last semester. Oh my gosh. Yay, Zach. That's awesome. Yeah, are you doing something in, like, broadcasting and, um, are you doing something in, like, video or, I feel like you would be, but maybe that's an assumption because maybe people would think that about me and I did not, I had nothing to do with any video, which is something that I regret a lot. Like, I should have been in, like, like, I should have joined, like, a club at col in college that did things like this or I should have tried improv or something, like, I always regret not being more immersed in the community just like to make friends in a space that like I'm passionate about. I feel like that's like a cool way to, to meet people, but I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to school one day and maybe I'll join one of these clubs. But for now, I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to you guys. Your spirit box really works best when you are out and about. I know. I actually was about to go into a cemetery today. And it wasn't just, that would have been, I don't know. Is it is it rude to go into a cemetery if it's like a current cemetery? I feel like that's kind of rude. Like I feel like if I had a deceased loved one that was in a cemetery and I saw some like girl going live on YouTube with a spirit box, I'd be like, oh my God, get out of here and like restraining order, bye. Like no coming back here again. But I would not go to a cemetery that is like a public, like, an active cemetery. This cemetery that I was gonna go to, all of the people passed away before like 1900. Like there's no way that anyone is visiting <laughs> besides me. Like I would be the only one. <gasps> That'd be cute if I like brought them flowers and stuff. <gasps> That's a good series. Imagine I like vlog. Well, oh, okay, now I'm like, now it feels like, it feels weird when you make content and you're like doing these things. Cause it's like, am I, not profiting, but like, am I trying to use the deceased? Like, it feels like I'm like using them in a way, which like, by the way, the profit on that would be like $1 and 20 cents, you know, like the video would not be doing like it would not. And I don't I don't get like sponsorships or much. So like, it's not like a it's not like I'm trying to like, you know, make the most money I can by going to these cemeteries. But I mean, I do want to make like interesting stuff. It's like fun. Like it's, it's more fun when I make these videos of me speaking with spirits and I'm in the woods than it would be if I'm just like in my house, like painting my nails right now. Like who, who cares? Like it's, it's like everyone does. I'm like, get out of here. Like you have other people to watch. I'm just kidding. No one's as cool as me. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I got to focus on this, but basically what I'm trying to say is, um, cuticle oil sorry basically what I'm, let me finish one thought before i go to the next basically what i'm trying to say is i don't know if it's exploitative is that the word exploitative or is it exploitative exploitative i think to like go to a burial ground and like try to communicate if you know i'm like posting it like I don't know but I also like the people that I feel like the people that are coming in on the lives they're all like we're all meaning well like no one's coming in like like you whatever like no one's 
you know, being rude or anything. So I guess, yeah, as long as I'm, resp I'm, I'm already convincing myself that it's fine. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this is the cuticle, uh, re, re, revitalizer oil, but it's, it's, there's just like a picture of grapes and I'm like, do grapes do that? Do they vitalize my cuticles? Like, do I need to have more grapes on my fingers? I don't know. Like, it's so interesting when they put like little pictures of like plants or fruits or vegetables on a product that you're like, wait, I had no idea that that thing even had to do with this thing. It reminds me of every time like a vanilla yogurt, maybe this is like the early 2000s, like 90s thing, but like the vanilla, or maybe they probably still do it. But like the vanilla yogurt had like a yellow plant that looked like a daffodil. And I was like, why are they putting daffodils on this yellow, like vanilla? I, for the longest time, thought vanilla came from daffodils. I thought like the little, like the middle part of a daffodil, vanilla, <laughs> just like pouring out like ice cream, like a soft serve, anyway. But yeah, it's always weird when like, <laughs> oh, that reminds me, <laughs> here I go again. I bought a bunch of seeds at Target this past weekend, like, like to plant. And one of them were onions and all the other plants are just, you know, plants on like the pictures of the, whatever their advertising thing. It's like snow peas. It's like snow peas, tomatoes. It's a picture of a tomato. The onions for some reason were the only one out of like probably 50 that had a picture of onion rings. <laughs> and I was like, why <laughs> just put the onions? Why are you going to put the onion rings? Like, I feel like also onions are something that people would buy regardless if you told them that you can make onion rings. Who makes homemade onion rings, first of all? Second of all, there's a bunch of other vegetables that I probably don't even know that they exist that you could be like, oh, this is what you can make with this. But instead they put this picture of onion rings on the onion seed package. I don't think I bought it. I purposely didn't. I had. I should write to the company. You know when you, they like it has like the address and it's like write us a letter imagine i'm like this is false advertising i bought this oh my god is that how you sue a company i feel like people just like find these loopholes this is false advertising there was a photo of onion rings on this package of seeds i grew it it took me four months of my hard work time emotions therapy and no onion rings came out of it at the end of it it's crazy it's crazy anyway Ooh, grapes. Ooh, wait, Zach said, I'm a business management major with a minor in marketing, but I do love broadcasting and radio and stuff. I should have done a little bit of something since I've edited videos for 10 years since I was a kid. Oh my God, you're like the same as me, Zach. I literally went to school for business and I had like a concentration in marketing or whatever, but I went to school for like, why am I even doing the cute oil? Like who needs, like, People have cuticles. Get over it. I'm sick of this. <laughs> I already gave up with the cuticle oil. This is why I this is why I can't do my nails myself. But anyway, this is all to say that Do you hear that noise? I'm like what What's going on up there? Ooh, it comes out. Oh my god, that's when the This was only $32. This three nail files, this thing. We got this many nail polishes, all those colors right there, nail polish. This machine, which by the way, if you don't know, gel manicure. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I'm like on my podium again. A gel manicure is not like you're getting like fake nails or anything like that, right? It's not like you're getting those tips or the acrylic nails that like people are like, ooh, 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 whatever. They are just nail, it's nail polish essentially that lo lasts longer than regular nail polish because it uses a UV light because you put it in this, okay? And you don't have to wait till it dries because it's somehow this machine like kind of like solidifies it to your nail. Anywho, I thought this was fun that it co comes with all that and then it comes with this. A pleasant surprise in a package, huh? And this is a lot, ooh, this is thick too. My cat is like staring at me like, what's that? Oh my God, I'm like, what is this? Are these, these are clips? Is it, it says nail. Oh, do I have to put them all on my nails? Are you kidding me? Do I have to literally go like this and like, 
That would be ridiculous if I have to stand here with these clips on my nails. No, I'm okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what these are for. I thought these were for my hair to hold up the bangs that I regret getting. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that for now. Okay. At least I'll know where they are if I put them on my hair. <laughs> All the things that I lose everything in life. So I just have to like put it on. My <laughs> That's wild. Okay. Um, no, there's only four. No, there are five. That's scary because that means that I have to use it for my hands and I don't want to use those. Um, yes, I do have a business administration degree technically. Um, and then you could like concentrate in two different things. So I concentrated in marketing and finance. I minored in psychology because I was like, wait, I, I need to know how people work. And then I like senior year, I was like, wait, I want to be a psychologist. And then I was like, wait, that takes like long time to get your PhD. And I would be making probably a similar amount to what I would be making as someone in like marketing, you know, eventually. Right. Um, psychiatrist, that's different because you have your medical degree. So it's like, you know, you can and you can write prescriptions. So you're a little bit more making more money. But you're late. Angel. Angel's back. Angel's back. Angel's back. <laughs> Angel, I'm doing my nail. Don't worry, you're late. You're one hour late, but I still haven't painted a single nail. I don't know how. And also I have my, my mug and it has the Niffler on it. I don't know if anyone know. I'm like doing ASMR for some reason. I'm like, okay, everyone go to sleep. Um, it says anything shiny, he's all over the place. And it's the Niffler. It's from Fantastic Beasts. I hate the glare. It's from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I think, which is like the Harry Potter, like, but like the annoying version. No offense. Not that I have a mug, but I think that someone got this for me, which I hope they're not watching this. They're like, you don't like the mug I bought you? But like, I don't know. I'm a Harry Potter fan, but like the Fantastic Beasts, I think I need to rewatch them and like get more into it. Um, but anyway, this is where that mug came from. Gel's Nail Playlist Part 1 of 28. <laughs> I know this is a whole series doing my gel nails. That's everyone else in my classes. I'm the only person. I'm the one person who got business management instead. Oh, interesting. So you take classes with people that aren't in business. Is that, does that make sense? Um, anime says I don't do anything. Billy says, hello, huge fan. Billy, Billy. Yo, Billy. What's up? Chris. Wait, was it Chris that said it? Chris says, I mostly was graphic design, visual arts. That's like, see, like, that's a skill that, like, you can use for a while. You know what I mean? It's kind of like computer science where it's like, like, when I worked at, in marketing at a company, like, I was just doing events marketing. I wasn't even doing anything else but that. I mean, my job title, my job role, what I was supposed to be doing. But I was the only person that knew how to edit videos. And that was more valuable than the job that I was hired for, the job that I went to school for, the fact that I could edit videos was like rare on the team. Everyone, like everyone had to come to me to do it. And that was like my one up on them. Cause I knew the skill that they did it. And I was like, this is so weird because I have always just knew how to, I, I know how to edit videos from like doing it for fun on the side. Um, but yeah, that's a, it's an interesting thing. Like having a skill as opposed to like, I mean, I guess finance, marketing, whatever is a skill, but like there's specific things that no one can even pretend like they can do. Like video editing, graphic design, computer science, like coding, stuff like that. It's like, you can't pretend, you know, like unless you know how to do it. I mean, you could, yeah, you could watch YouTube videos, but you have to do it for a while to like kind of, you know, make it or break it. They're just they're doing admin instead almost the exact same oh okay got it got it oh uh, love how you instantly <laughs> repurpose because i don't even know what these things are for like i've okay i've never seen i've never done gel obviously never done gel nails at home i've gotten them done at the nail salon but i've never had to like put clips on my fingers like that seems like a weird thing to happen but you know what i should probably just read this oh my god this comes with a lot Oh, oh, someone asked if I ever get nail patterns on my nails and I said, no, 
this thing comes with a little like golden th this is like an egyptian moment like they look like they look like um not hieroglyphics but they kind of look like sim like egyptian symbols i don't know maybe i'm just looking too much into it i'm like there's a, there's a sign here anyway I feel weird, like, being quiet for two seconds. I'm like, if I'm not talking, people are going to leave. I don't know why I think that, but I'm like, I can't even... People sit on lives, not YouTube live, but, like, well, probably YouTube live, but, like, TikTok live, whatever. They sit and they don't even talk. They sit in the corner of the room and they're like... Or they do something, like, random. They're, like, petting their dog and they're not even acknowledging the people that... And I'm like, how... What are you doing? So I feel weird even like drinking. Like, I'm like, I need water, please. And I'm like, no, I can't. I can't even have water. I can. It's just me telling myself that I can't. Or me being like hyper aware that people are watching and me being like, I have to entertain these people that are watching me. Even though, oh my God. This is too much. This comes with too much. I'm going to write the Amazon seller. You gave me way too much for $30. We have... Um, I'm assuming this is like to place something on the nail, but like this looks like a tweezer to me and tweezers at CVS are more than $7 a pop. So this already, you know, we're profiting, <laughs> we're profiting. I'm going to start doing people's nails with this. I keep doing that. Whenever I say nails, I do that. It's interesting. I want people to point out things that I do or say, like, I won't get offended if you, well, maybe, no, I won't get offended. Also, this is like a really tiny clipper. Um, but it's always interesting because I notice when people like say a certain phrase a lot or if I notice when people do a certain thing, like a mannerism a lot, like when I was doing the nail thing. And I'm always like, no one ever says that about me, but I definitely say the same thing over and over and over again. We're just fine. Like that's, we're, you know, humans. We're not AI. We can't just come up with things on the spot. Am I right? Everyone's like, no, you're not. Okay. Wait, sorry, that dropped on me. Here's another thing, which I don't know what it's for. It looks like for stabbing ladybugs. And that sounds really dark of me because like, why would I be thinking about that? But I'm like, what else do you like pick up with this? Besides, holy, that sounds so bad. I love ladybugs actually though. That sounds like I'm being a liar now, but I do. Oh, and here's another tool that I could probably use on my teeth, which sounds really... Don't do this at home, by the way. I do weird things because, no, I don't need to be saying this. I'm, I was about to say, you don't need a dental degree to clean your teeth, to give yourself a dental cleaning. Like, but honestly, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying, personally, I like cleaning my teeth with the tools that dentists may or may not use. And I'm not talking about like the high tech ones. I'm not gonna like pay two hundred dollars for that. I'm just talking about like the little like things that kind of look like this, like the little, you know. And look, I have. That's another thing I'll say. Actually, you know what? I should write down a list of things that I'll say that are nice about myself because I don't say them often. But here we go. I think I have nice teeth. There, I said it. But for a long time, I had a gap between my front teeth and like. I went to a school where everyone was like very wealthy and had braces at like four for no reason. Like they had their baby, like the second their first tooth came in, their mom was like, okay, time to go to like orthodontist, Dr. Glasser. And you're like, wait, we're four. And so anyway, I had a gap for like most of my life until I was, I don't know, in high school, maybe 10th grade or something, I got my Invisalign. And then after that, Okay, sorry, my cat is playing with that thing, the ball that goes around in the circle. I kind of feel bad for him. Even though he was a stray cat, like, living in the cold, having no food daily, and I'm, like, feeding him and making him fat and giving him shrimp cocktail, which, by the way, I don't even buy myself. I mean, I did buy it for myself, but then, like, after a day, I was like, I'm not going to eat all this shrimp cocktail. What was I thinking? Um, and I don't need another reason to just, like, have not abnormal number twos sorry tmi so i was like okay you can have some shrimp you know i was i was graceful enough to do that but for some reason i still feel bad like my animals are the most spoiled pets ever yet i still am like i could be doing more like you know i don't know 
feel like that's not a good sign for like eventually if I have children like to be like that like I don't want to be like always hard on myself for not giving them enough even though I probably will but also I just I you didn't see what I was doing I didn't explain it I was kind of like pushing these these like mail bed thingies back for some reason like I don't know why I did that but I think they do that at the nail salon so I did it so I did it oh it even comes with these uv what what is this these look like i don't know who's in the audience but this looks like something else besides a nail remover i don't know again what this thingy does or is this brush i'm assuming is to brush off like the dead skin i just probably like picked off my nails i don't i don't know honestly i'm like can we just get to the good part here let's just paint the nails and be done okay i'm sick of this i'm sick of waiting oh i'm like i'm also intrigued by the other things french nails so french nails if you don't know are like when you have like a little white like rounded tip at the end of your nails which is like a cute thing i feel like it's like a clean like nice little look so i guess this this is i don't know whatever who cares i don't need that where is the instructions i'm trying to understand how to use this thing i don't even know oh oh okay i love when instructions are like a one pager like i cannot with a booklet i don't have the patience i do have the time but i don't have the, i was about to say i don't have the time but i do have the time but i still i want oh my god and it's a one pager with no back okay i'm like five star right there just because of that Ooh, prep trim file buff and clean nails for a clean dry and oil free surface okay there's no oil like i'm freezing and i don't know i feel like it's already dried up i filed them ish whatever number two apply a thin layer of base coat and cure under uv lead nail lamp for 45 60 seconds oh my god i feel like this is not good for me but i'm gonna do it but how do you know what the base is is this like oh my god when i showed you guys how many colors there were right i showed you all this it was underneath i didn't even notice there's this many that's a lot for 30 dollars okay again this is not sponsored or anything like i don't even know this is probably actually going to give me like i don't want to i don't even want to bring it into the universe but like I don't know about like putting your hands under UV every two weeks. I don't know what's that what that is going to do to me, but let's see for the first week or so. Um, ooh, and they're even labeled. Oh my god, but there's it only comes with one base coat. That's how they get you. They give you all these colors and they're like, here, use this one little base coat. How am I gonna make this last? I'm gonna have to buy them more. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy more. And you probably can't buy the base coat without buying other colors. So that's how they get you see <laughs> i know i i took business <laughs> i'm kidding that's not wait okay is this cat bothering anyone is the noise of like bothering anyone um that cat eats better than i do i love sitting in snow oh i love the snow too i actually love the snow are you going to do goth barbie traditional glitzy what kind of nails i don't know there's so many colors i didn't even realize that there were this many again just to show see i usually stray away from like the blues and like the like kind of crazy colors like I've, I've been i mean i used to go you know neon orange all the crazy stuff but then i i was like okay i'm too old i mean i'm not like old old but like i was like okay like i'm not 13 like i can't wear like neon orange you know nails anymore and be like Ew, but i can do whatever i want you know but anyway um <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. That's a good, that's a good point. I think let's start with the base coat and see where we go from there. Let's unwrap. Okay. At least I unwrapped most of the items that came with this. Okay. That's a start. That's more than I thought I was going to get through in this video. Okay. Here's the UV thingy. You're supposed to like, you know, put your hand in it after you apply something. I don't really know. I don't know if 
this is okay for my skin. I don't know if I'm going to be in a lawsuit 20 years down the line and suing this guy. <laughs> but you know what? You got to try it. Don't knock it until you try it. You know that saying? That's what they say about the Johnson & Johnson baby powder. And then it was like 2004 and they were like, wait, we tried it. And it wasn't it, you know? Like we had, we got illnesses from that. I, see, this is what I don't like when a cord isn't long. Like it's like, it's like a decent length, but if I want to plug it in like far, further than like, but I guess most people are probably not streaming themselves doing this. They're probably just like in a bathroom alone. Like, you know, so I can't blame them. Okay. That is not going to be part of the lawsuit, I guess. I guess I'm really making them shook. Okay. Oh my God, I almost just, okay. I pulled this out when I was, cause my microphone ate this. I'm not wearing a microphone right now. Oh my God, okay, I'm scared. Oh my God, it's on. How do I do this? How do I do this? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it and not even look at the instructions. No, okay, I'm gonna look at the instructions. It's only a one pager, again. I can do it. Okay, apply. A thin layer of base coat and cure under UV LED nail lamp for four. Okay, but th there's different settings. Oh, I'm so, wow. The settings just say 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 99 seconds. I thought they were like 1 OS, 3 OS, 6. And I was like, what do these mean? They're just the times. It's very simple, Kayla. Okay, so I'm going to do it for 45, 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply the base coat. Surprisingly, I'm pretty good at like getting the, I'm watching, I'm gonna jinx myself. I'm pretty good at getting like a coat of polish like on the actual nail where some people like, you know, they can't do it. I don't know why I can cause I'm not like a very great artist in a sense when it comes to like drawing or sketching or things like that, but I can, I could probably like, oh, bad story, but one time, <laughs> oh, I think I'll do one hand at a time. So I'll do like the 60 seconds thing in this thingy. But one time I was in French class, right? Oh, and I asked, ooh, I like this. I asked my teacher to, in high school, I asked my teacher to write me a recommendation letter for college. And she agreed to it. You know, she liked me. I was kind of like a class clown. I hate when people use that term. But like, you know, I would always be, I was talkative, but I also, you know, I made jokes, but I also was participating. And then, you know, she liked me, whatever. And then the day that I, not the day that I asked her, but like it was a few months later, right? And I was sitting in the back, sitting in the back of the class at this point. And I took out nail polish and started painting my nails. I don't know what got in me. I think it was the fact that people are always like, when you doodle, you pay more attention. Like when you do something, like you're, you can do something and listen at the same time. So I just, you know, ooh, three seconds. Ooh, it shut off, loved it. Okay, next fan. Um, Anyway, long story short, she basically like saw me painting my nails and were, was like, are you painting your nails in class? And I was like, yeah, but I like was trying to argue the fact that like I was paying attention. I'm just painting my, like I'm just doing something at the same time. And she like completely didn't say anything. Like she just like looked at me kind of like, I'm going to eat you for breakfast tomorrow. And then just kept going on with her like agenda. And I was like, oh my God, she's going to talk to me after class, da, 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 whatever. I was like, I was like, oh my God, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. And then that same day was the honors award, like every year, every like half year, or whatever. There was like an assembly where we, you know, went and people got awards for different classes. And she gave me the French award the same day. Like she already had this plan. Like she already submitted my name at this point. And she like looked at me like in disgust, like, 
because she definitely was giving me the award partially because she was writing me a letter so she had to be like she won the award and like she was setting me up for success and I disappointed her and to this day and I'm still doing my nails in class baby I'm just kidding I don't know what the whole point of this story was <laughs> class cloud no way yeah but some classes I was very quiet some classes I was, depend, you know, it all, all depends on. This is my principle, at least. This is what has worked for me for like high school, college. Actually more college than high school. But the first day of class, if I put my, personally, if I put myself in the front-ish, first two rows, and I raise my hand and I decide to speak on the first day, then I will feel for the rest of the year more willing to participate, more willing to like be involved. You know, the teacher, I think it sets like a good tone for the whatever. I don't know. This is just my thing that I always have done because in the classes that I don't do that, I find myself in the back on my computer, like doing something completely irrelevant to the class. And then I learn nothing and then there's no point of anything. So that is my that was my experience. That's what I tried to do. I nail time, not Olivia H3. Oh my God, Olivia H3. I love it. I'm back. Google has been breaking my YouTube. <gasps> oh my gosh. Are you serious? That's wild. That's weird. I know like sometimes YouTube goes down or whatever, but I didn't know ad blocker. Wait, I need to get an ad. I still don't have that. I need to get an ad blocker. Okay. So I did the base layer and I I cured it under the UV lamp for 60 seconds each hand. Now I have to apply the colored gel. Wait, okay. Apply colored gel and cure for 45, 60 seconds. Color gel needs to be applied two to three times and cured. So do I apply it two and three times, two to three times and then cure it? Or do I apply it like one, two, three? I'll probably just apply it three times and then cure it because I don't need to be under the UV for that many times. Okay, what color should I do? Okay. These are like pretty normal-ish colors, I would say. Like we got the pinks, we got the red, we got the, I don't know what these are, like gray. Oh wait, no, these are the top coats. But we have the, the gray, the darker, this, the that. Okay, but this one, yeah, that one's, I don't know, whatever. So we got the pinks in this one. And then this one we have like a little bit these are a little bit more out there. I mean, we have purple and we have red and black and stuff. So those are like kind of normal-ish. But generally, I try to kind of stay clear of the blues just because it's like, I don't know. It like makes me feel like I'm eating gushers on my fingers or that I'm like Sully from Monster Zinc. And I'm just like, I don't know if I need that right now in my life. <laughs> Honestly, I have no, I don't think anyone thinks that but me. It's either I'm eating Gushers or I'm Sully from Monsters, Inc. That is a ridiculous <laughs> statement. But anyway, these purples are fine. Purples are fine. Um, can you name a cat for an edit? Oh, my cat's name is Tibby. But can you send me the edit after, Brooklyn girl? Can you send me the edit? Thank you. I'm like, I'm already answering. I'm like, thank you. Okay, um, Zach said, by yesterday's poll, I was surprised I didn't see you yesterday. Wait. Oh, I know. You know what it was? I really, really wanted to go live yesterday because I was like, wow, everyone wants me to go live today. And I didn't realize, but I did have a, <sighs> I don't want to break the news here. Oh, shoot. But I'm going to break the news here. This sounds so bad to say. I had an interview yesterday. Oh, no, no, sorry. I had an... <laughs> I'm already lying. I had an interview today. And last night, I was getting really nervous because I haven't had an interview in, like, four years. And, like, I've been, like, semi-applying to jobs. But, like, it has to be the perfect one, you know? Like, I'm not, I'm being selective this time. I'm like, I'm not letting corporate America take me down for fun, you know? Like, I, it's gonna be on my terms if they do that. So anyway, so I did, because I just, like, miss getting my nails done. I miss not <laughs> doing this. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. This is actually fun. Um, but yeah, so I was preparing yesterday and I was like, why did I post this today? Like I, I, I didn't realize how underprepared I was until like late last night. And I was like, I should probably prepare myself for this and not just show up and be like, hi. And like, like my YouTube lives where I'm like, do you want to see my nail color? And they're like, absolutely not. Anyway, <laughs> that's, so don't break the news to everybody else. I don't want people to be disappointed. Actually, who cares? You know, you're li I'm living my life. Again, I feel weird. It's <laughs> being silent for like four seconds. Um, Chris says, choose a color you were going to want for the next few weeks. Zach said, I wanted to push you to Tuesday, so I voted today because there was supposed to be an app yesterday and there wasn't. Then I was like, oh yeah, go live today, please. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, age three. They were like, we're taking off for Martin Luther. Do they do that? Do they usually take off for, like, I know they take their holiday break, but do they take like, do like when it's like a Monday, like a President's Day weekend? I, I didn't know they took off. Or if they, I think they were using that as like a reason. By the way, we're talking about age three podcast. Um, lot. I can't see. I'm back, Kayla. Ooh. Layla. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm like, I'm like Ethan. I'm late. But we're talking about H3. I don't know, Chris, if you're familiar. His name's Ethan Klein. And that is how essentially Zach found me. And I found Zach. Um, I used to make these like, <laughs> I'm still ashamed to say it impression videos of this YouTuber and I was really trying to get him to hire me that did not end um as I were to a uh, uh, initially hope that it would end but in the grand scheme of things I'm like you know what everything happens for a reason and look Zach and I are besties now so that's all that matters but we're talking about how he takes like these, you know, he takes some time off because he goes live like multiple times a week, like for hours at a time. And so obviously, and he has a whole production, like he has a whole crew there and they, you know, they plan their topics ahead of time. It's not just he's talking and doing his nails, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, but he took off this past week and we were like, wait, what? And so that's what we were talking about. I feel like I had to update everyone, even though everyone's like, no one cares. Just paint your damn nails, girl. So, okay. You know what? Uh, I feel like I should just paint them a color and just pick a color. I feel like this is a safe color. Like it's not too red. Oh wait, maybe that's very bright. Is that like very pink? It looks pinker on camera because I think the lighting in here than it actually is. I'm like, just imagine my skin tone. But honestly, th these are these are really small. I mean, like eyeball to scale. Like a nail polish bottle is at least double this. this. So I'm like, is it worth the bang for your buck? It still is, I think. Oh my God, I can't even open this. Oh my God, and I can't use my teeth. I can't break a tooth on live. Oh wait, I opened it, okay. You're about to see me break a tooth on live. Okay. Wait, where's my, where'd my instructions go? Oh, I threw them. Why'd I do that? Okay. <clears throat> Apply color gel and cure for 45, 60 seconds. Color needs to be applied two to three times. Oh my God. Was I supposed to cure it every time I painted? Because it still feels a little wet. Oh, it says the base coat will be sticky after curing. Please do not wipe it. Oh, okay, so it's supposed to be sticky. Good, good thing I read the tips. I didn't just read this one thing. I decided to finish the one pager. So it says tips, apply evenly, apply thin nails. The base coat will be sticky after curing. Please do not wipe it when coloring. Use a brush to wipe off the excess before coloring. It is normal for the gel to have a sticky feeling after curing and it needs to be sealed with a top coat. Oh, so it's the top coat that puts it all together. Bada bing, bada boom. And I dropped the instructions. Bleh. I dropped the instructions again. So that's the last time I'm looking at them. And I decided that. Oh my God. Okay. This is kind of a dark color. Uh, do I like it? Do I like it? Uh, is this too dark? It looks lighter on 
whatever. Who cares? What you have one? Li I have one life. Well, you do too. But I'm talking about me and my nails right now. I'm just kidding. That sounds like I'm inconsiderate of you and your nails. I'm very considerate of your nails. I am giving you a review to make sure that this is worth it for your nails. I'm doing this for your nails. Ooh, my pinky, so cute. Ah, sorry. I'm always impressed with the way I paint my nails because I already said this, but I'm not an artist. Like, and I, I'm not like one of those people that like literally draw like, I don't know, the Mona Lisa. No, that's not a thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that are just like, oh, I can't paint, I can't draw. And then it'd be like beautiful. Like I literally would just like be like happy face, wee. Um, I'm art I am artistic in other endeavors, just not the painting drawing realm, but boy, can I fill in a nail? <laughs> I will give myself that. Ooh, I love that I got this. This is fun. Is this like an ADHD thing? Cause I did this during COVID, not the nail thing, but I did order like the bedazzling thing. Do you know that? You know, like people have those bedazzled Starbucks cups and or just like anything they just bedazzle them and they just like have them um and they sell them for like a hundred dollars i tried doing that and i bought a bedazzling i still have oh that's a good live i still have it because i was like i can't throw this out i use this once Ooh, i should do that it is very frustrating it's basically all these little gems that are this small and you basically have to take like a hot is it glue? I think, I guess it is glue. I don't remember, but you have to like heat it up and like whatever. And you have to like position the bead exactly where you want it. And oh my God, especially if you're doing like a pattern or a design in it. Like if it's all the same color gem, I guess like fine. Or if it's like whatever, but still very, very difficult. So anyway, that was one of my COVID hobbies, but I should have definitely done this. This would have been way more effective, fun, easy, useful, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So I'm supposed to wipe away the excess so it doesn't like stick onto my skin forever. Ooh. Okay. So this is my three nails so far. My nails are very short recently. Um, not red from a distance. Weird. Were you always in a spooky condo before? What made you make the pivot? Um, I was looking for the video recently of them reacting to your Ryan or Harvey video. And I couldn't find it. I was so upset. Ooh, I can find it. Um, I got to think about it, but I'll find it. Um, oh my God. That's so embarrassing. You found me from an ad trying to substitute for Olivia. Ah, everyone was super pushing for the crew to go off. And then the subreddit still went against them. Oh, I didn't realize that happened. Yeah, I haven't been on the subreddit in a while. I've just been kind of like... I don't know. Maybe I should get back on. Actually, I want to apply as Jeff Wittick's bachelor. Ah, that would be so funny. I love it. Um, but, oh, were you always, were, was I always into spooky content? I think from a young age, I've always really liked paranormal things in a sense that like I've always liked astrology, tarot, I always, and like not saying that I'm good at any of these, like I'm just saying like I was always interested in a little bit in them. Oh my God, I just got, I just ruined it partially. Um, and then I would always, I don't even remember what channel it was, technically like 49, 51, something, where I would watch those shows of like people like ghost hunters and I was like, but like the real ones and they're like, whatever. So, and I would, I would literally be so like, shook by them that I would cry. Like I wouldn't cry like, ah, but I, like tears would be streaming down my face and I couldn't control it. Cause I was just so like, I don't know how to explain it, but, and then like in middle school slash high school, I was watching American Horror Story, which is just a TV show, but still that even like kind of perked my interest back again. I don't know if every middle schooler goes through this, but I really was like into horror movies for a while where all my friends, would we would watch horror movies or we would have like our parents like buy the rated R tickets for us, walk us into the theater and they would leave because we wanted to see that movie like so bad for some reason, um, which is crazy to think about now because it's like, 
I went through like I went through that whole phase where I was super into it and then I was like oh my god I'm terrified I have anxiety and like I'm never gonna see a scary movie what's the point like I won't even let myself listen to sad music because I'm like there's no point in listening to sad music it's just gonna evoke sad thoughts memories and I don't need that okay I need positivity in my life I don't need to be sad for no just because of a song you know and I'm someone that gets like affected by external things like that so anyway, um, yeah, I think I've always been interested in it. I've never been this like, um, I never like researched it as much as I do now. But I think it is like, I think when you like start a channel on something, and you feel like you have to well, see, there's different types of people, right? There's people like Chris and Zenu that naturally are driven to educate themselves on things like this. And there are people like me that will just watch like people doing nothing. And then it takes me like an extra step to get interested. Like someone like I have to have to listen to something and then I get interested in it, if that makes sense. Like if, you know, a friend is playing something, even though I wouldn't necessarily put that on myself. I get like easily sucked into it and very interested and I ask a million questions about it and I just like whatever but I don't know what the disconnect is where I just can't like push like instead of you know going on YouTube and typing in like what are the what I don't know I'm just what's Egypt's like 10 things that whatever I don't know whatever um instead of doing that I'll like watch like someone eat like mac and cheese and I'm like why am I what this brings no value to me but for some reason I just can't like get myself to like seek out research and education and videos like that unless I have like a, a video to make or unless someone else puts it on and I'm just like there and then I get sucked into it it's a weird thing I don't know um oh my god I'm the most famous person that follows you on Instagram. Thank you. That is so kind. I don't know how. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm a mess. I'm like, I don't know how, but thank you. I'm like, I will always, I will never unfollow you. Actually record me right now. If I unfollow you and if I don't give you a reason that's like, oh my God, I'm so, actually, no, I shouldn't even say that. I'm not going to have someone manage my account for me. Who the heck do they think they are? Frick them. Um, but yeah, I'll always follow you. Record me. Um, that sounds like I'm like, I feel like, uh, I hate, <laughs> I feel like I have to be positive about like my future, but I also don't want to sound like annoying and be like, uh, when I like go to like the golden globes and I'm like, girl, you will People will pay me not to go to, they'll be like, please don't show up with my nail clips and I still have them in my hair. Like, what am I doing? I also, I'm not giving anyone updates on my nails because this is my left hand painting my right hand. And I, it, oh, I'm better, obviously, well, not obviously, there's a lot of left-handed people. Um, I'm better at doing things with my right hand. So this is getting a little complicated, but this is my left hand so far. I feel like I didn't mess up too bad. Um, where is our space Lord Zenu lately? The asylum episode with the nuns was my favorite episode. Oh my gosh. Yes. The asylum. That one I think was the creepy, like that was definitely like the scariest. That whole season was insane. And then American Horror Story, um, it's not Salem. What is it? Coven. Coven. Yeah, I think that's what you're talking about. Coven with, um, like, Emma Roberts is in it. I don't know if that's the first one she started. Because she's, oh, there's a new American Horror Story called, <laughs> I can't remember anything. Oh, my God. Um, it's something about, like, fertility. It's, like, someone that always... <sighs> I don't know, whatever. It's Emma Roberts, the main character. Kim Kardashian is in it for some reason. And they stopped the whole thing like halfway through. I heard it's because of the, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I, I feel like I shouldn't speak about things that I don't know much about, but 
I do know that American Horror Story is in the begin. Oh my God. I watched it from season one to season through the carnival one. So I think season one was like the house one. I don't remember what the name was called. Um, I don't think season two was the asylum one, was it? And then there's Coven. Um, I guess those are the only ones I really remember. And uh, it wasn't called Carnival. It was called Circus. I don't know. They always have like weird names. And then there was the Apocalypse one. I, oh, the one with Lady Gaga. That might be the Apocalypse one. I did start watching. And then I think I like fell through with it. And this is really dark. <laughs> this is really dark. But the last American Horror Story episode that I saw before like this new season, like literally this past year, was two, three years ago. Because the night that my dog, my like childhood dog, I mean, she was 13, bless her soul. Like she had a great life. Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I don't know. At the time, I was very, very sad about it. But that night was the night that she crossed the Rainbow Bridge. So I, like, just had this... I was like, I can never watch American Horror Story again. Like, it just... The affiliation of that with that... It was like a Pavlov experience where, like, the, the they ring the bell and then your, you, your mouth drools. It was like you put American Horror Story on it and you sob yourself to sleep. So I didn't watch it for, like, years. Oh, it was, it, the new one is called Intricate, I think, because there's always, like, spi there's, like, spiders in it. That one is actually really good. Oh, my God. What did I do? <gasps> no, my thumb is all weird. It's crinkly, like, crink. These are fine. Oh, they look so bad. But this one's crinkle cut french fries. Why? I better see you make it to the Jeff Bachelor finalist. She's hiding the nails from the camera distance. I am, honestly. Um... You do that thing where famous people... Oh my god, I hate when people do that. When they follow zero people. I'm like... Like, you think... Oh my god, I'm never going to be able to take this off. What do I do? Why is it, like, folded? Like, did I touch that nail? I don't remember. Oh my god, I'm, like, concerned. And I can't take it off myself because then it'll mess up. I don't have nail polish remover with me. The kit comes with everything but nail polish remover. Okay, I'll wait until later, and then I'll, I'll redo that, I guess. I guess. It's called Delicate. Thank you, E. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize that. I thought it was called Intricate. Intricate. I, honestly, Intricate would be a better name because they always play on this idea of spiders, and it's, like, very symbolic to the whole... I feel like you wouldn't understand unless you watched the show, but... Um, I don't know why it's called delicate. Also, this has like barely any nail polish. I feel like I'm already scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Okay, sorry, I have to pay attention for a second or else I'm gonna mess up the nails like I did to the other nail. Oh no, please be normal. Please work, please work. Okay. Wait, why does it look clumpy all of a sudden? Comfy, comfy. Ah. Okay. Oh my god, it looks, looks so bad. Imagine I just start crying and I hang up. I'm just like, this sucks. Why do I do this? Oh my god, but it doesn't look great anymore. It's always the left hand painting the right hand that makes you hate what you just did. It's a shame. Frick, why does this look so crazy? I think I crinkle cry, crinkle cut fry corn. Imagine that's like a trend. But remember when cottage cheese ceilings were a trend? Like everyone had those like, like popcorn ceilings, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the fancy term is for people that want to be like, oh yeah, they were good back in the 80s. And you were like, what? Like, no, they were never good. They were always gross. It looks like college, co college. Wow, 40 and slip. It looks like cottage cheese is seeping from your ceiling, ma'am. Put your cottage, put your daisy. Wait, 
No, that's sour cream. Is Daisy? No, Daisy definitely has cottage cheese. I wonder what, how similar sour cream and cottage cheese are together. Do you think they're very similar? Oh, oh, they're, another thing to relate to H3. I know they talked about how cottage cheese in Israel has a lot of, a lot more fat than they do in the U.S. and it tastes like cream cheese. And I love if there's a cream cheese brick in my fridge. I'm going to be sticking my <laughs> sounds so bad. My finger in it at some point and taking a glob and eating it. Okay? I'm like a dog that want that is eating a pill. I'm just gonna eat the cream cheese in a glob. And I have one life. Okay? You know, if I want to eat cream cheese in a glob form, oh my god, imagine like an ice cream scooper but cream cheese and I just have like a bowl of it like or like in a cone that'd be good oh a cone Ooh, trendy New York City food idea cone of like an everything bagel cracker shaped as a cone in it salmon locks in the middle wrapped around like a little circle in the cone Cream cheese with scallions. <laughs> I'm going crazy with the scallions, everybody. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> you bite into cream cheese like an apple. Actually, there is a video, not of me eating cream cheese like an apple, but an onion like an apple that I posted once upon a time that is still on the internet. Um, what is my favorite food? Um, hmm. Mm hmm hmm my favorite food okay all you asked is what my favorite food is and I'm gonna give you a, an annoying long response that no one cares to hear but if it's like I can like someone someone's buying it and I'm not like you know I'm not feeling oh, I'm not like feeling bad about like you know them buying it so like a company or you know whatever I'm getting lobster I'm getting a butter, I'm getting a bowl of butter. I'm getting a lobster claw and it's going to be a big lobster claw and I'm going to rub it in the oil, the oil, the butter. <laughs> look at my hand movements. I look like the Grinch. Um, I don't think he does that, but whatever. His fingers are like funny, but, um, and then there's going to be butter dripping down, whatever, whatever, whatever. I love sushi. Okay. But once you eat like two rolls, you're kind of like, oh my god, I can never eat sushi. And then like, you wait a day and then you, you know, the whole, the addiction comes back. So sushi, lobster, oh my god, any type of pasta. Pasta, pasta, pa creamy pasta. Sounds so Italian though. Bada bing, bada boom, scongeli. <laughs> Just kidding, not scongeli. But I do love watching those TikToks of people making Scon the the Italians making scongeli for like Christmas and stuff. Um, some people put cream cheese on bagels. Kayla puts a little bit of bagel on her cream cheese. <laughs> Who needs the bagel? We're go <gasps> okay. Good thing that was a nail that I already messed up. I said, this is why this is why people go to the nail salon because who's gonna sit here for like an hour and just be like and just stay still? Actually, I probably should be like meditating improving my life, you know, listening to some relaxing music. But instead I have my nail, cl oh my God, am I supposed to use these for something? I forgot about these, <laughs> wait, ah, the instructions are missing. Oh wait, no, they're, they're all the way over here. <gasps> oh shoot, oh my God, they're on the floor and I can like kind of read it, but not really. So I feel like, no, I feel like this is not going well. Some of them are going really well. like. I feel like these are fine. I mean, they're not great, but like, from like, they're like not horrible. And then, I don't know what happened there. And then this one. Oh wait, cause I have to put another coat maybe on this one. Oh, I also have to put the top coat. I forgot about that. Um, lobster. I care. I care. Kayla, I've told you before. I come from a family of lobster fishermen. <gasps> I feel like you did, but I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Pasta. Oh my God, what do you say, pasta? Pasta? <gasps> what do you say, pasta? I'm confused now. Pasta. Is that wrong? Do you listen to any non-pop music? 
I do, but it's like old-ish, you know? Like it's like a lot of Queen, uh, like Nirvana, uh, Little Led Zeppelin, Grateful Dead. It's not like new music. Like I don't, I don't keep up with new music unless it's like pop music really because I don't know why. Because uh, I guess... I don't know. I'm like, wait, why do I do the things I do? Yeah, I guess I like went through a music phase. And then recently I've just been, I think it's just like the content thing of like trying to keep up with people, what people are doing. And then it's kind of like whatever's on my page that people are doing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to use this song. And I'm not saying like they're like, I'm like, oh, I hate these songs and I'm just using them. Like they're catchy. They're fun. I like doing little quirky things to them, but um, yeah, I don't really, like, look out for new music, necessarily. Um, unless, like, you know, I hear something when I'm out or a friend shows me something, then, I'm, then I'll, then i like, you know, totally be into it. But if it's just, like, me alone, I'm at home, I'm not gonna, like, be going out looking for, like, the newest, you know, whatever, rock music or whatever it may be. Um, sorry, let me just paint this nail okay please do well nail also i love the snow can i just talk about that for fun does anyone want to talk about the snow like also i'm not like a huge like, like i love the environment i love nature but i've never been like a super hardcore like global warming save the environment type of person like i believe in all that but, like, I've never been, I don't really do much, I guess, besides, like, recycle when I can. Like, I'm not, like, going out there, like, helping the environment, I guess. Um, but this, like, these past, like, two to three winters, I've really been like, wait, whoa. Like, this is not, this is no joke now. Like, I don't know, I guess it comes with age, too, where you're, like, wait, I'm not the only living person on this planet and I should worry about things besides myself. But also the fact that it's this has been the first snowfall in New York that has accumulated over one inch in over 700 days. That's n almost two years of no snow more than one inch. When I was younger, it used to be like feet, <laughs> feet. <laughs> There's just like a bunch of feet in the snow. But like, like literal like human feet. No, I'm just kidding. There was like, I just remember like blizzards, like so much snow, so many snow days. Like I just remember it being like winter in New York. And now I'm like, I can't believe it hasn't snowed in over 700 days. That's wild. You come to me with some pasta and a brick of cream cheese. Don't threaten me with a good time on the lake. Oh, you're trying to do the Godfather. She listens to Beethoven's Sixth Symphony when not listening to pop. Imagine. I probably like, honestly, I do like, a, okay, not Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, but I did play the violin for like fourth grade to senior year of high school. I was horrible. Like, like you're like, I don't even want to talk about it. I Honestly, I should just, erase that from my being because how bad I was was like this is not a brag like I was like it was it's embarrassing how bad I was for how long I did it you know what I mean um but at least I did something for that long because I I usually take things up and I drop them I'm like whoop bye like the gel manicure set this is gonna be gone in a week I'm, I'm auctioning off a gel manicure set for whoever wants <laughs> or I'm raffling it off I used once raffle. <laughs> Stupid. Um, the winter barely exists and I'm in North Idaho. We get a couple snows now that melt a couple weeks later. And that is it. Even five years ago, it would snow like a foot and dump on us. I know. It's insane. Like, <sighs> I'm like, I miss the snow. Like, I miss the snow when there were... <clears throat> I miss... When's the last year that there was snow in your state if you, you obviously like live in like a state that gets snow um like on christmas or before christmas 
Like, there was one year in New York that got snow but in October. And now it's like, you're never going to get snow before Christmas, on Christmas. And it's like, I'm like, it sucks because... You know, we want the good vibes of snow and we want to feel that like hype for, but also what the heck is going on? Like we're ruining our planet and no one cares. They don't believe it. Anyway, but also I was one of those people. So, well, not, I didn't believe it, but I just was kind of like, eh, whatever, whatever. Um, my favorite parts of marketing school classes, student stuff, etc. My favorite parts... I think that, huh, hmm, see my favorite parts of like classes, okay, the first things that come to mind were internships because I lived so close to Manhattan that I could easily get, you know, to Manhattan and work for a company and that was really cool, like I interned at Nickelodeon for a long time and like I got firsthand experience of being in that world and I was so like oh my god this is like insane and I you know I was I literally cried when I heard that I got this internship like I was so excited so I think that honestly that was like a good part of it because I went to school like near Manhattan I could go into the city easily and get like an internship for a big company like Viacom um oh my god they do have a glitter top coat i'm sorry um so that was a good part and then another part was like this is like a weird maybe thing to say but not marketing but like finance slash business in general obviously there were women there like i'm not in the 1970s where like you know i'm like the only woman you know in college or whatever or not like in business school or something but god <laughs> but it was really cool the fact that like I would be in these classes with like these guys and I'm not like making it a gender thing or whatever but like just most of them were men or whatever and on top of that a lot of them like had parents that were like accountants at like PwC or like worked at a private equity firm or like just anything that like takes a college degree and I was very much not that like I was like I'm surprised I even went to college and when neither of my parents did so I think like that experience like even though I felt so different than the normal call like classmate I guess I had like in these finance classes marketing business whatever classes um it like I guess it proved to myself that like bitch you got here in the same place if not better than all these people and you had all these setbacks and you still did this like you know and i i was i mean i'm still hard on myself but i was always very very like you know down on myself whatever like i was sad the school i was going to i was sad that you know the top the classes i was going to i was just like very negative about things like that but then after like just seeing that and instead of looking at myself as like you know life sucks because I didn't get a silver spoon and it's not fair and you know if I had this I would be so much better and I'd be so much happier and I would have this and this and this instead of looking at it like that I kind of like changed my perspective from going to business school and seeing like the difference where I was like you know what like I'm a badass like, I did that. Like, I work at Nickelodeon, and I get better grades than this guy whose dad works at Goldman Sachs. Bye! You know? So, yeah. I guess that. But also, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a specific class. Honestly, my favorite classes didn't even have to do with business. They all had to do with psychology. So, <laughs> I feel like... But just, like, the whole business school in general, I think it was fun. I think it, like, definitely helped my confidence and, like, proved myself that, like, you know, if you can be a finance bro, but not, like, personality-wise, just, like, doing what they do and, like, <laughs> whatever, then I can do anything. I can even gel my nails. <laughs> no, I really can't. I got the popcorn nails. I got the popcorn nails. Um... You live in Lansing, which we have snow now and then, but right now we have some snow that's sticking. I know. 
It's like the first time snow has stuck around here. The wildfire season during the summer is horrific now since the snowpack doesn't keep the plants wet anymore late enough into the year. Oh my God, I didn't know that. That's great. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Like I didn't know that like snowfall could keep plants wet enough to prevent, like that's, wow. Nature is so like interesting and nature adapts, but then, you know, nature can only adapt so much and they can't adapt enough. I mean, it, it, not that it should adapt that much, but it's not going to be like, oh, thanks for your like 5 million goldfish bags that you disposed of into the ocean. Well, <laughs> I love how I said, well, I don't love it, but I, I said goldfish bags into the ocean because like fish, but I think that was like a in landfills, I mean, not the ocean. I don't think anyone's just like, goldfish, bye. And they throw them in the ocean specifically. They're like, fish should go back into the ocean. Okay, I'm almost finished with these nails. I did mess up one nail. And I do have to fix it as well as like the surrounding areas of my fingers. But honestly, it's not that bad. I'm actually... Well, let's see. Okay, I'll update you guys on how this holds up like how long because that's ultimately the reason why I don't paint my nails like with regular nail polish or that's why I recently very recently stopped or haven't wanted to and what like made me buy this is because like when you do a regular manicure it chips in like two days and you're like what what's the point of that so let's see if this even works I'll update you. I'll the first chip that I get, you guys will be the first ones to know. Or it will be the company. Because I'll be like, you ruined my life. I thought that I had my whole manicure thing figured out. Okay, so these are fine. But this one is the popcorn nail. I messed it up. I don't know what I did. I think I hit it on something. And I don't even know. Our snow is sticking because it's negative 10 during the day this week. Nature was such a good self-contained system. Oh, yeah, I have the UV goop. It's a second chip has hit the finger. <laughs> I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how long this takes to, like... Because when you're at the nail salon, you get the gel... You get the gel manicure, you get the gel top coat, you put it in this UV thingy. Well, they have, like, probably way more legit ones. But then they make you wash your hands right after. And I'm like, oh my God. Because if you were to wash your hands after a regular manicure, it would just smudge and get like, you know, whatever. So I'm like, I can't imagine that this is dry just from, I'm like scared to touch it. Oh, here, how about I touch, well, I'm like scared. This one like, this still feels wet. I'm gonna just like keep doing it over and over. It's, it's supposed to not chip for like at least, at least a week. I've had them last like two to three weeks when I would go to the salon. And I'm curious if this, because I'm fine with doing my own nails when it comes to like actually painting them. Like that's not the problem for me, but it's annoying that they chip in like less than a week. And then I'm like, there, like feeling like gross. Like I have chipped nails and whatever. Um, I can't believe like nails are such like a stupid thing. And people spend so much time and money thinking about them. Like, I wish I could just be like, no. But instead, I'm here with this stupid thing. Trying to paint them with the popcorn nails. With the UV light that's going to give me damage to my body in some way or form. Um, ooh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh my god. Love her icon. Icon. I'm not a nail technician, but you got the kit and experience. I know. I know. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, um, you know, not do this for a living. Actually, I probably can never do it. <laughs> maybe I'll do my friend's nails for fun. How about that? That's a good, and I still don't know what these clips are for. What? Was I supposed to use? Oh, like what? Oh my God. Imagine these are like to prevent the UV from like seeping into your skin. Well, UV is obviously not that bad. Oh my God. Do people that get gel nails a lot get like tan on their like just their fingers? Also, I feel like fingers are always hard. Like no one tans their... 
Not that anyone's specifically hoping to tan their fingers, but if you're just like laying out in the sun, I feel like your fingers are not good. Like they don't tan or it's not like obvious. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who cares about tan fingers? Isn't that crazy that like we have one life and like people worry about like getting a tan. I mean, me too. I mean, recently, no, because I'm like, oh, it's going to damage my skin. It's not worth it. It's going to give me wrinkles. But like there was a point in time where I sat out in the sun with the only purpose, and this was for hours, this is like one to two hours at a time, the only purpose was to make my skin like one shade darker. For no, like no one cared but me. Why did I do that? Catch me like in the Bahamas, like, honestly, I do love the Caribbean. And like, if I could, I would move to Hawaii not, I, I've actually never been in Hawaii, so I don't know why I said that, but like I would move somewhere with like crystal clear water, white sand beach, like that is paradise to me. When I like try to meditate, that's what I, I'm like, I'm on a beach, there's white sand. Also, they like eat fruit off trees. I can't do that here. It's winter. The only thing I'm eating off of trees are ticks. Like <laughs> that's the only thing that's living <laughs> actually they die i think under a certain weather but you know i do my time not like t-i-m-e i know it sounds like that but my t-h-y-m-e my time the herb is still la it's, it's it's not thriving i would say but it's it's surviving it's still out there i could eat that but no coconuts no mangoes no bananas no lemons on a tree out my window what I would do for that but I do love like Christmas snow whatever vibes but like New York doesn't even have that anymore so what the heck what's the point of being here moving to Hawaii <laughs> um you get a tanning bed for your finger <laughs> I think that's what this is like I'm worried like are my fingers gonna like I don't want to say the c word but like is this dangerous? I mean, I know they do this at nail salons literally everywhere, but this can't have a positive effect. And if it doesn't have a positive effect, it can't, I don't believe that, are there things that have no effect? I, I don't think so. I think everything has an effect in some way. No, cause it's like, if I touch this one pillow, is that touch negatively or pot? Well, it's positively influencing me cause it's soft. I'm, I'm just getting philosophical now. I'm like, like, is there a food that you eat that isn't, well, I guess it could be positively, positively and negatively affecting you at the same time. Cause it might have fiber, but it might be harming your heart. <laughs> like actually heart, not like love. My love for fiber one bars is killing me. I'm just kidding. Um, melanoma. <laughs> I can't. Oh, wait, Sophia, after 120 seconds of curing in the UV, it seems wet because it is the tacky layer. You can remove the tacky layer with rubbing alcohol. Oh my God, I've been, are you serious? I've been, <laughs> I've been sticking my hands. Actually, I'm gonna go back whenever this uploads like to my channel, I'm gonna go back and see how long, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the timestamps of how long I, have stuck my nails into this, into this alien machine that's ruining my life, or not my life, my skin, and I don't know, yeah. Okay, so I guess I have to wipe it with nail polish remover, but I basically kind of painted them a little bit. Oh my god, my eyeliner's like smudging. Oh wow, that looks so much better. Wow, I'm so good at beauty. <laughs> my nails in my face I can't with this um wait one second sorry I'm like kind of far from the thing I keep having to lean forward whatever I'm having an existential crisis I always do it's fine I like that's just if it's if I'm not people should if I haven't had one in a day people should be worried about me they should be like what is going on you're not having a crisis um, are there no instructions? There are instructions, but they, I, I think I either threw them or they fell in my haste to paint nails that I don't remember. Okay. And there, it's only a one pager. Don't blame me. It's just a one pager. 
Okay, so I applied the top coat, I cured it for 60 seconds, but also I cured it for 60 minutes instead. <laughs> Tips. Okay, so th those are the only instructions. One, two, three, four. Easy. Bada bing, bada boom. I keep saying that. Um, tips. The preparation steps are very important for a long-lasting manicure. Okay, yeah, I know. I already did that. Apply evenly. Apply thin nails. The base coat will be sticky after curing. Please do not wipe it. When coloring, use a brush to wipe off the excess. What? I didn't wipe off anything. What does that mean? It is normal for the gel to have a sticky feeling after curing, and it needs to be sealed with the top coat. Do not apply too thick coats of gel polish, or it will hard to dry and peel off easily. This one. This is the one that got away. You, ah, you ruined my life. Um, tips, use a brush to seal the edges of the nail horizontally to avoid shearing and peeling. What does that mean? Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Other tips, factors such as low temperature will affect gel polish, especially in winter. Perfect, great. Another reason to move to Hawaii. This is gonna ruin, this weather is gonna ruin my nails. After receiving the product, you may need to leave the bottle at room temperature. Turn it upside down and shake. I didn't shake it. I didn't turn it upside down. It has been in cold weather. Definitely for a, a few, a day or two, probably. I mean, it was Amazon, so it came pretty quick. But it's pretty cold out here, so I... Mm. Oh my god, warning. May cause an allergic reaction by skin contact. Redirections for use carefully. I love how I did the, I'm doing this after... Don't do this, but don't do what I'm doing. Just do whatever you want. But, well, get the gel manicure set if you want, but don't not read the instructions before you paint them. That's what I meant. Professionally formulated and only used for nails. Avoid contact with eyes, mouth, and skin. In case of contact with them, rinse immediately with water. If there is an incident, if there's an incident, what is, I'm just like eating the nail polish. What? That is an incident. Please contact the doctor immediately. Contact the doctor, not your physician, not, you know, the emergency room, not, you know, this specific type of surgery, or physician, whatever. It just says contact the doctor immediately. But I don't know who the doctor is. Who is the doctor? I can't contact him if I don't. Okay, that's a stupid joke. Whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. Stop using the product if redness and itching develop. It'll be too late. Also, my nails are red. How am I going to... I guess uh, the surrounding areas. Keep out of the reach. Keep out of the reach of children. Not keep... Don't you love when you get something from Amazon and it's like... It's like whoever wrote this, English wasn't their first language, which like my grandmother's first language wasn't English. I don't even think my mother's was because I'm sure my grandma spoke to her in Armenian or something, maybe Arabic. My grandma knew like a lot of languages, but so I'm not, I don't know, that's my defense of why I'm, but it's just funny when there's instructions and it's like, contact the doctor. Keep out of the reach of children. It's just like funny. I'm like, this is a one pager. And I, I'm like, if I can't trust you, what? I don't know. I'm curing my nails again for no reason. Name a car for an edit. Nikki, I think I made you a lot of cars. I made you a lot of cars. I named a lot of cars. If there's an incident, contact the doctor. You didn't find the doctor in the bottom of the box. It came with everything but the doctor. It came with the nail, filer, the polish, the cuticle thing, the that, the this. Oh, it didn't say external use only. Drinks bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's a trained professional. Do not try this at home. I am. I am a trained professional. Ooh, Sophia and Melania Films too. Shout out if you're still here. Um, thank you for all the nice words about these nails because Catherine's here. Catherine, you are two hours late. Okay, I'm not blaming you. All you missed is me doing my nail. That's literally all you missed. But you can... Ooh, my hands are very cold now. But, oh my god, I can't even open my laptop. Because it'll just start playing. It'll just start playing me going live for no reason, even though my internet and Google Chrome is not open. It'll just... 
Okay, actually, no, I shut it down last time, so. Interesting. I feel like my laptop never does that, even though that's the Mac noise, but I feel like that's only when you shut it off because there's a problem, so I haven't heard that in a long time. Hope there's no problem, knock on wood. I have to knock like this so I don't ruin my nails again. I was playing in the snow, aww. That's so fun. I should play in the snow. What am I doing? Oh my God, I should go live in the snow. Next snow, next time it snows, but like a lot of snow. Like I feel like if there's not, how much snow is near you? I feel like there's not that much near me. Um, that was a lot of cars. <laughs> um, let's name it a, um, I don't know. Um, I don't see, I don't know like the specific models. I was going to say like a Mercedes S class, but I don't know like the, the formal name of it. Like it, I feel like there's, it's an S class, but it's like a something like it's like a number too that I'm forgetting. I don't know. Maybe that's just, okay. It's not playing my video. So whoever, whatever thing was playing it, it's gone. It's gone. She's gone. Oh my God, it's freezing. My fingers, I can't. So what do I do about this one nail, by the way? Like, do I do something? I've always loved the dramatic piano note for the intro sound on the max. Oh my God, that's what that is. That's what that is. Four inches. Oh my God, that's a lot. A foot or two? What? I don't even know how. Wait. I, I think there's only like a an inch. This is so sad. See, I need like a good. Oh my God. I made an igloo one year, but I could only get like halfway there because like who's going to, you know, but I should do a live from an igloo, but I don't have an igloo yet because there's no snow. Well, there's snow, but there's not a lot of unless. Well, I guess there is a lot of snow technically. If I looked at it, like, in the grand... Like, I could gather all of the snow from everywhere. But there's not a lot of snow in my yard, I guess I should say. But anywho... Oh, my God. Why am I so cold? I have this thing where my circulation is, like, not great. Where, like... Like, I'm physically fine. <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm glad to hear. Like, I, I feel warm but my hands like nothing is getting like there's no feeling in my limb like why are my are they called phalanges or did i make that up why do they not like i think my circulation is bad probably from my lack of exercise i'm like why do i have these things wrong with me it's not like i eat string beans out of a can and squirt like five pounds of sriracha on it and eat that for dinner what what's wrong with that? why am i so unhealthy um don't go put fake snow in your yard maybe one of those tools is to buff down your nails yeah i think so it's just like all of them seem fine i mean like they i definitely missed like the nails a lot in these i mean this one's better because I was painting with my right hand, but this one's kind of whatever. But the good news is nail polish com comes off easier from the skin, obviously, than the nail. So, like, if I shower, which I will. I love how I had to, which I will, I promise I will shower. The, I'm sure the nail polish will come off the skin, so I'm not worried about that. It's more annoying that this one thumbnail had to ruin. I'm being dramatic. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm just glad. You know what? 2024. I'm just blessed that I even had. I love how I do the sign of the cross. I'm just blessed that I even had the opportunity to order a kit on Amazon because one, I can, you know, afford a nail kit from Amazon. Two, we live in a time where you can, you order something, bada bing, bada boom. How many times have I said that in this live? Too many. I literally never say that, but like, it's just, you know, when you like start saying something and then it becomes like, you start saying it more and more and then it's just like, so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. But what was I saying? <laughs> My fingers are still very gold. Um, 
this gets video if this video gets 100 likes she will take a shower to get the nail polish <laughs> yes i will finally do that i feel fine with my full and she's can barely type from the gold here i know what a weird word like can i just google weird words like there are so many odd words that i forget exist and it's sometimes so interesting because like i haven't heard that word Phalan am i even saying this right phalanges phalanges wait let's hear wait my audio is off sorry phalange it's not phalange wait that's not the plural though wait but they don't pronounce the phalanges that's probably what it is whatever like i haven't taken that word out of my little word box my brain that's my word box whoop in like, I don't know, 10 years. I don't remember the last time I even thought about that word. And then like, because I'm talking about my fingers being cold, I just like, my brain just kind of like, isn't that weird? Like brains are weird. <laughs> it reminds me <laughs> of that one SpongeBob episode where he's, I don't remember what he's doing to go into his brain, but there's like 5 billion SpongeBob's in the brain and they're like going through files and they're burning the files in his brain. Here, let me see if I can find some, like a photo just to like refresh your brain. I just typed in brain SpongeBob. No, that's not what I meant. SpongeBob brain burning files. Ah, oh, that was a weird laugh. I did not like that. Maybe I did like that. Maybe I just lied to you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know why I even said that. What am I talking about? This is the bur- oh, wait. <gasps> the gif? I hate when you like save a gif and then instead of like a gif form, it just saves as like a PowerPoint slide of like 20. And you're like, this isn't a gif. This is, who made this? <laughs> like what is, what is going on here? Anyway, okay, I'll just zoom in on this because I just don't want, you know when people like show their computer and then they show something like, really bad on their computer like i mean i don't really have bad things on my computer okay i'll read you my folders okay since everyone's asking me i'll i'll read my folder one of them says videos one of them says receipts one of them says sound effects one of them says my taxes okay so i mean i have more folders than that but those are the only ones that i wanted to read you so you can only imagine the type of folders that i have besides that Okay, I'm trying to show you the stupid gift, but I don't... Oh my god, I called it stupid. I feel so bad now. Okay. This episode. Where he's like, burning everything. I feel like that took a lot of effort for very little... Like, I feel like no one knows what I'm talking about. But, anyway. Um... Odd or live forever. I order so many nail things and I order more and more and forget the other things I ordered. I know. Oh my God. Ew, I hate my nail. Oh my God. Sorry. Oh God, I'm freezing. My fingers are, not me, my fingers. It's when Squidward wanted to make them think it's a fancy restaurant. That's really what it was? No one came. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what this whole live has been. It's just me being like, hee 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 and me just painting my nails and me talking about do these lives ever provide value i'm gonna have to start doing like i don't know Ooh, ooh. sorry i just thought of some ding it's like another like cartoon thing a whiteboard if i could just draw the things write the th like I feel like I would be like diagrams. I feel like that could be useful for people. Everyone's like, please, no, no one needs this whiteboard from you. No one asked. Leave it alone. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, this coffee is frozen now. And it's also almost 7 p.m. And I'm like, let's go. Also, I fall asleep by like 1030 no matter what. So like. That's an, that's a random thing. Um, I could like pound like a huge coffee. I could pound like two Red Bull and out like a light. You know that song? 
I think my Travis got out like a light. Ooh, <laughs> like a light. I don't know. Something like that. That's me. <laughs> Even after, yeah. Coffee, ASMR. Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, but I know, you know what? Honestly, I feel really, I keep saying, I'm like, I feel blessed. But I feel really, in some ways, really lucky that I can fall asleep like so quickly because I know so many people suffer from like, Fall, it like takes them like at least an hour to even like get relaxed to fall asleep so I do feel like happy that I can fall asleep and like especially it's so helpful on planes like I pass out I'm asleep like flight I don't remember it snack never came actually it did actually I always wake up for the snack I eat it <laughs> and the last time I was flying <laughs> I was eating the snack and mid eat like the the chocolate quinoa bar or whatever they gave me in United half eaten I'm still eating it I started falling asleep with the food in my mouth that's how <laughs> I'm just like boop bye <laughs> like I'm literally like imagine it's like woman chokes on chocolate quinoa united bar mid-flight like that could be a news i'm gonna be that woman that's like that mother is not real you know that video i'm gonna be like that but like the woman that chokes on a chocolate quinoa bar so yeah <laughs> i keep going he 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 but wait what was it oh yeah i was talking about the coffee oh my god my I was talking about this being cold, me being able to drink caffeine late at night and still fall asleep, which reminded me about how great it is to fall asleep on airplanes when you have my superpower of being knocked out. But the problem is I'm always tired. You know, like I, like, <laughs> what a horrible thing, you know, to experience is falling asleep so easily. But like, it is annoying because I could fall asleep like 10 hours and I'm still like, I'm tired. Like I just, my constant state is I'm tired. And then I watched a video on YouTube about how, from like a psychologist, and he was explaining how fatigue or being tired can also be an emotion. So now I'm like, am I physically tired or is this just an emotion? Is this just my brain saying that I'm tired? Which I think 90% of the time it's probably that. Which, but also, but then first step is being self-aware, baby. So now I'm like, when I'm like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. And I'm just like laying, like watching whatever. I'm like, am I though? Like, did I get enough sleep? Am I hydrated? Have I like had a vegetable today? Was it from a can? Yes, but I still had a vegetable. And then I'm like, okay, so maybe this is an emotional thing. Maybe I'm not physically tired. Maybe my body's not tired. Maybe it's all in my head. You know, did you ever think about that? <laughs> I'm like preaching for no reason again. Um, I hardly sleep ever or at all. Almost afraid of falling asleep for real. I feel like I may die for some reason. Oh my God, Chris, that's hor Don't ever think that. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. I mean, this trick may not work, but I always try to think this might sound kind of like sad though. I always try to think of like what my ideal life would be. But like manifesting, like my, not my dream life, like, you know, totally different than what I have, but like my goals. And I'm like, I envision it and I get like a little happy and I try to think about that or, or whatever, like I'm currently wanting in that phase of my life or, or like needing, I kind of try to think of the positives in it before bed. But then I guess I could see how that could turn bad and then I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. Now tonight I'm going to be like up like, like for like 10 hours. I'm emotionally exhausted. I know uh, I am. That <laughs> mother effer is not chewing. I know. I don't know why. Hey, Khaleesi. Ooh, I miss Game of Thrones. Is anyone in Game of Thrones? Well, obviously, I mean, maybe your name is Khaleesi. I don't know. But Game of Thrones, man. What a time to be alive. I'm acting like it was so long ago. 
when like House of Dragons just aired last year. Also, where is that? Can that come out again, please? I don't know what, when. Actually, I'm gonna Google that after I. I've been holding this cold, and like you would think that this is warm, warming my little finger. This is frozen. All right, this isn't like. I wish I could. Ah, isn't that so annoying that like video you can see, you can't feel or smell or taste. Like you can't do the thing, you know? So it's like when people are like spraying perfume and they're like, this is the best smelling perfume. I'm like, why even advertise this? Like don't at like who advertises perfume? A lot of like Dior, Miss Dior, like Natalie Portman does, but <laughs> Ariana Grande. But you know what I mean? It's like, like you have to smell the perfume before you buy it. Who just buys a perfume? I don't know. I think I probably have once, but. Again, I was silent for way too long. That was against my comfort level. Shroom mat. Oh, cause I'm so, wait, why do you think it's shroom coffee? Cause I'm being crazy. <laughs> cause I'm being crazy. Okay, by the way, this cat has been here for like a long time and no one sees it and they probably don't even think it exists. I'll show you the cat actually. I decided to move the angle. Oh no. Wait, where is it? Uh, uh, cat cam. Okay, I'm back. That was my cat. Okay, okay. Nothing happened. Totally fine. No, Gothland, I'm not ignoring you. Gothland, Gothland. Gothland, Gothland. Sorry, Gothland. Sometimes I like, oh my God, I hate when I like, how do people like, sorry, I'm like looking at this, I'm looking at the, I mean, I'm like, nobody's perfect, but also like annoying that this happens. It's smudging oh, and my fingers are frozen, but at least, at least girl got her gel nails finished besides this cotton. Cotton Eye Joe, I almost said. Uh, popcorn slash, what was I calling this again? Cottage cheese. That's why I said cotton. I was, I had the C-O-T-T. -T. I didn't have the A-G-E. I had the O-N. <laughs> no, is anyone following anything that, I'm, my thought process here? It's not, it's not saying it's normal. Not saying it's sophisticated. Just... Nah, I'm fine. I'm like, am I normal? I'm like, who cares? Um, the forbidden wall. I know, it's literally just an exercise machine, a bunch of lights, cameras, stand, like tripods, and a cat tower. That's basically all that's here. <gasps> no, Lemonhead, please don't do that. Please, Lemonhead, stop, 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 stop. Wait, what? Please don't leave. Are you here? Don't say that. Don't do that. Please. We're having good vibes here, please. All this without a, do a document is incredible. <laughs> I don't know how I'm still <laughs> going. I mean, I always say, I'm like, I'm gonna go live for 30 minutes. It's like, you know, it's like 1 a.m. and I'm like, hello? No, just kidding, imagine. Ooh, I should do that. <gasps> I could definitely go live for 24 hours. No, not 24, because I have to sleep. Maybe like 12. I could, not now, not now. I'm not promising that right now. Don't you think that? Oh, I should have done that when I had my like wisdom teeth out. Because then it's like, <gasps> actually when I had surgeries this past year, sorry, I'm trying to take the nail clip that I put in my hair for no reason. When I had surgeries this past year, my mom like had to check on me in the middle of the night to like make sure I was alive. <laughs> Sounds so bad and I'm laughing about it, but whatever. Um, but I could have just live streamed and been like, mom, I'm fine. There's people watching me on live stream. Like someone will call <laughs> an ambulance, you know? Like what is my mom gonna do, really? You know? She would probably be in more shock and take longer to call an ambulance, whatever I needed. Okay, this is getting 
a little extreme now, but okay, sorry. I'm trying to like finish. Oh my God. Like cute, but ugly at the same time. I feel like that's my aesthetic. Not saying I'm ugly, but just like everything's a mess. I think that's what the aesthetic is. Everything's a mess. Okay. <laughs> okay. No dance moms. Why does everyone think? Dance moms, dance moms. So I have any recommendations? Um, skincare, skincare. Okay. I mean, I feel like people, which I'm assuming you are younger than me, um, I feel like you guys are very knowledgeable on skincare and makeup more than I was at your age. Um, but if I could go back in time, which I feel like everyone on TikTok, everyone on YouTube, whatever, they always say this, but do not bake in the sun. By that, I mean, do not tan, especially with now. Sorry, I thought I saw something. I'm always on the edge, um, especially without sunscreen. Um, just like always moisturize, I guess. Specific products. I mean, I'm not really faithful to one brand or product because I'm always like worried that if I use one product forever, that product's going to be the one that has like a recall like in 30 years and I'm going to like suffer from that recall. <laughs> Like, the Johnson & Johnson, like, baby powder thing. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, was it in their baby lotion? Like, were certain people using that lotion their whole lives and then were impacted by it? So, I like to I like to switch it up. I try to do a lot of clean, clean, um, you know, skincare brands from, like, Whole Foods and whatever, which are not. It, they're not as expensive as, like, Sephora, honestly. Even though it's Whole Foods, it's, like, $20 for, like, a cleanser, which I feel like some cleansers, facial cleansers or whatever, moisturizers at Sephora could be, like, 50 or more. Um, but, like, the brand Pacifica I've got from Whole Foods. Uh, there's, like, a hippie one that I got. It's literally called, like, Mad Hippie. It did break my sink, but it wasn't its fault. I mean, it, the jar was so thick. <laughs> Sounds like I'm lying. I opened my mirror jar, whoo, hit the sink, sink shattered. Have you ever seen a porcelain sink shatter? It literally went through the sink to the bottom part where I keep my toilet paper. And I just stared at it like, is this a glitch? What is happening? You know when that happens? Like, oh my God, that actually happened. I just got reminded. I had a Snapchat snow globe. <laughs> Again, we're talking on something completely different. I had a Snapchat snow globe. Okay, I'm going to try to keep my points concise. That only people that were famous slash brands got that were like famous from Snapchat. Or not from Snapchat, but on Snapchat, whatever. They were just influencers and they got it. I was not one of these. But... I did work at Nickelodeon, like I was talking about before, and Nickelodeon got a few of them because they have, like, probably the SpongeBob one, the Ninja Turtle. So whoever was running those accounts was like, I don't need this dumb snow globe. So they put it on the thing to give to other people. And I was like, oh, my God, I love this. Like, this is motivating because Jeffree Star, at the time, this was, like, pre-cancel era, had the snow globe in, like, one of the videos. And I was like, oh, my God, inspirational, like... Anyway, long story short, it literally rolled off, like, literally right here next to me, off the cabinet thing, rolled off, fell. Have you seen, have you ever, <laughs> I feel like this is not something that normal people do. Have you ever seen a snow globe break? It is the worst, it's, it's, it's close to a porcelain sink breaking and your moisturizer falling through the sink into your toilet paper. It's almost that bad. It's not as bad, but this snow globe, it meant a lot to me, but maybe it was symbolic about the fact that I was using it as like a motivational thing. And I was like, I don't need that. Or maybe it's just like, no, your dreams are crushed and gone. But anyway, the snow globe shatters, obviously. There's like liquid I hope it was water. I don't know what they put in snow globes. How do they keep... I've had snow globes that are 26 years old. That's how... Like, uh, the, the same age... Like, I've had snow globes my whole life. And they are still... 
The paint on the things in the snow globe, not chipped. Everything's working. The things that float around, they're shaking, they're grooving, they're dancing. That's a whole other thing. Imagine like all the things in a snow globe being like partying, whatever. Okay. But so it's like, what liquid is in that to make that stuff survive for 20 plus years? Anyway, all that goo, goop, maybe it's just water. I don't know. Has anyone ever figured out what's in a snow globe? No. Actually, there's probably, everyone probably knows but me. But that stuff, you know, everywhere. On me, on the floor, on my cat. Not on my cat, but I don't know if it ate it. Like, I was trying it to not get it to eat it. But, like, I can only dry up so much. But if he licked it and that was, like, he's fine, by the way. <laughs> Peter, if you're, the, if you're here, he's fine. Um, all the little snow everywhere. It's probably still on the floor. I could probably show you. Oh, I can. But my floor is really, like, cat hair everywhere. And it's, like, embarrassing. Anyway. Um, glass shot. I had to throw out my snow globe. I have, again, I have no idea. I don't even remember why I brought, th oh, I do remember. Because I said this was nearly as bad as when I shattered my sink with my moisturizer because I was talking about the skincare brand slash makeup that I use because of Dance Moms. And Dance Moms probably didn't expect this answer. No, sunscreen is not bad for tan skin. It's great for every skin tone. I know a woman who spent her life in the sun and she looked 70 when she was 45. I watched your Gypsy Rose documentary too. I loved it. Oh my God. Thank you, Dance Moms. Oh my God. I, okay, you're still here. Okay, can you say hi? Hi, Jen Duki. I hope I said that right. No, but of course you'd be the one to experience it at this point. I know. It's okay. She will definitely answer your question. Wait, what question was it? Live forever? Wait, live forever. Same dance moms. Oh, wait. Same question? Or no, different question. Wait. Wait, I don't... I followed. Okay, live forever. I don't like airplanes. Wait, did you ask a question, live forever? Can you repeat your question? I don't know if you asked one. Um, rip to the snow globe. It's like water with the rubbing alcohol. But wouldn't the rubbing alcohol, like, disintegrate the paint and stuff? That's, like, on the little things that are in the snow globe. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Emma, for liking my voice. I'm always like, people are always like, oh my God, like annoying, like high pitched voice. And then sometimes I'm like, I feel like my voice is low and I can't tell. Like sometimes I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I can't do that anymore. Wow. I love when these people, okay, this is a common theme that I've noticed in these lives. People come in and they say hi. And two seconds later, they're like, bye. What's the strategy there? Is it just like, hey, bye? Like, is it just like, is there a strategy there? Or is it just like, I'm bored, bye? Like in one second. It's like, if you're not holding my attention for one second, this is how, this is how you survive on social media these days. Every second you exist, you have to be interesting or else they're gone, bye. Tatum says, hi. He might be gone by now. She, he, um, they. Zach said you did a family guy cutaway set up. <laughs> Snow globes are filled with McDonald's Sprite. Oh my God, if only. Also, I need to treat myself to a McDonald's Sprite. I haven't had a McDonald's Sprite in like 15 years, I want to say. I know. I know. I always get Coke Zero and they don't have Sprite Zero, which is shocking because you think that McDonald's is known for their Sprite. They would make a diet no sugar version. This cat is playing with this ball thingy. Sorry. Um, I once smashed my head through a porcelain sink. Oh my gosh. I feel like that is very, very, very painful. I can't even imagine how that would feel. Oh my God. I was shocked that my, my little moisturizer jar glass was intact. I was like, how did this not shatter and the sink broke? So I can only imagine how your head must have felt after that. Um, favorite color, uh, deep voice. Oh, hello. Honestly, I've always like wanted like a raspy voice. So, but then sometimes I'm like, like if I'm talking to someone in person for some reason, 
feel like my voice gets a little higher. I don't know. Um, that's why you get annoyed for four seconds of silence, because you apparently lose people's attention in that. <laughs> you know what? We're on a mission, baby. Can this... Can you chill? I actually, I feel really bad, though. Like, when I... Like, I look at this cat, and it's, like, playing with, like, a ball, like, in a circle, and I'm like, what kind of life is this? Like, is this... Like, is that fine? I mean, I gave him an interactive toy, so I feel like he's fine. But at the same time, I kind of feel bad that I'm not, like... But he also scratched, nearly took my eye out. So what am I supposed to do at this point? He's literally just rolling the same ball in a circle over and over. You know what? Sometimes it's the little things, guys. Sometimes it's the little things. <laughs> but it's like, I have multiple dogs. So like the cat could be, you know, the, the cat, I love how I refer to him as the cat. His name is Sergeant Tibbs. Don't ask. Actually, please ask. Because I love his name. Like, he was the only pet that I could just name in like a, instead of, I usually take months. Or not months, but like a long time to name an animal. But you know what? It just came to me. Sergeant Tibbs, baby. Actually, didn't. I had to Google, like, Disney cat characters, and I found one that kind of looked like him, and I was like, that's it? That's it? That's your name? Um, <laughs> but he, anyway, ugh, again, I do it again. He has multiple dog siblings. He hates them. But he likes playing, so I was like, don't you want to play with some? Like, wouldn't you like a friend? My dogs, have, like... They like each other. They play with each other. They have fun. Why do cats? Oh my god, do I have to get another cat? Ah! <laughs> I have to get another cat. <laughs> That's what I concluded. I just hang up. Bye. <laughs> Immediately adopts another pet. Oh my god. Free him! I know. I'm like, I don't know if, I don't know if, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Oh my god, oh my god, I was silent for like two seconds. I almost ruined the live stream. I don't know if letting him outside is fine or not. Obviously, not right now because it's really cold and it's snowing and like, yeah, whatever. But I don't know how I feel about cats being semi outdoor cats. I don't know how I feel. Part of me is like, honestly. I feel bad that he's like kind of like inside because I feel like cats are less domesticated than dogs in a sense that like they don't care about your attention. They just like want to explore and hunt and do this and that. So I feel bad in a way. But then again, I'm like, there could be coyotes like a hawk could pick him up and then or like a car could hit him and I don't want him to go far. What if he never comes back? I mean, I know a lot of people let their cats out and they it come they come back because it's like they have food, they have shelter, you know, they have, even though they don't, might not love me, they, you know, I'm sure have some feeling. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. But, oh, wait, Lemonhead. Who's, Le oh, wait, Lemonhead. Thanks for being live. <gasps> wait, what? Lemonhead. Lemonhead. Oh, you're back. Lemonhead. How about, how about we talk, um, if you want to talk, uh, you can message me on Instagram or you can email me and we can chat. My Instagram is Kayla Cauldron, same name as this, and I don't want you to feel sad and I want the best for you and I will chat with you and we can chat about anything you want. Hot cocoa. Coco, the Disney movie, cats. I love I said hot cocoa, whatever. Um, but don't say that, please. Don't do that. Every animal should have another of its kind to talk to. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I have to get another cat. You, hi, I'm a new fan. Hey, person. Uh, the chicken is disgusting. The best thing and most fresh is the milkshakes. Oh, the chicken in the McDonald's. Okay, I was like, what are you talking about? I think that's what you're talking about. Um, Ava the Equestrian says hi. 
Um, do I ever see the cat POV vids where they put the camera on the collar and you see them run around? Then <gasps> no, but I need to watch them. I know that people like track their cats, like they'll put an air tag on them, but I didn't know that they just like you know have these POV videos. That's crazy. I need to watch those. Oh my god, this cat is acting up. So, um, I hate to do this to everyone, but I've been on for like two and a half hours. <laughs> Hello, can you say my name? I'm a new fan. Hi, person. Not Sky A L D C. Say hi. I'm gonna say hi. Ava the Equestrian. I'm gonna say hi. But unfortunately, I, I I hope you subscribe because I'll go live again. But I've been on for 170 minutes, which is roughly almost three. Are you serious? Have I been on this for that long? <laughs> what? Is it really that long? Or am I doing math wrong? Or is this timing thing wrong? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, what's your name, person? I don't know your name. It just says person. A person is a person. Uh, no matter how small. Hi, Layla. Layla, Layla. Layla, Layla. Wait. Of course, Chris. Always. Always be here. I texted you on Insta last week. I'll have to send you. Oh, my God. Sorry. I am so very horrible at Instagram that I literally like have like and it's not because I'm like no one's I just accumulate messages for like 50 weeks at a time and I'm like oh, I have to reply to these eventually I just I don't know why I don't like opening Instagram like it's just I don't know I don't I, I feel like it's a lot of work to open an Instagram message no it's really not it's just the same as a text okay I'll I'm gonna check my DMs though okay Okay. Slay. Slay, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Um, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Yeah. What's your question? If you have a question. I don't know. Wait. Okay. I'm going to scroll up to see what your question is because I can't find. Are you pranking me? Do you have a question? Can you repeat your question? Because I don't know what your question is. Uh, I don't see your question. I, I saw f Rip to the Snow Globe, uh, but it might be a lot up there. Was it about the skincare stuff? I don't know. I don't know. But you can always... Ugh, my eyeliner. You can always Instagram DM me or email me at cauldronconvos at gmail.com. Or you can Instagram DM me at Kayla Cauldron, and I am going to do my best to reply to Instagram messages. I am very late with emails, but I will get to them. I don't know what we're even talking about. Oh, yeah, Liv, what's the question? Good night, Zach. I'm going to check your DM. Sorry for being late. I'm always, I'm always late, and I'm always scared to open my Instagram <laughs> for no reason. That reminds me, I have to post an Instagram. Good night, dance moms. Thanks for being here, everybody. Good night, sleepy, sleepy. I hope everyone falls asleep quickly. Live forever. What's your question? Quickly, I'm going to exit soon. If you have a question, ask. Don't be shy. Ask a question. Just re-say it because I can't. I'm scrolling up and I can't find anything. So, if you have a question, could you ask? Or else I'm going to have to leave because my nails are all crusty and my face is not looking great anymore. Um, I just now saw your community post you're going live. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I need to start posting them early. I keep saying that. Okay. You know what? When I post it, though, then I commit to it. So I'm going to post one when I'm in the mood. Like, right now, I mean, like. When I'm hyped up, then I'm going to post it and be like, yeah, I'm going live on Friday at this time. But I can't do it at the same time H3 does. Because that won't be good. I'm busy on that video grind. <laughs> How'd you know? Making all the vids. Making the, vi the, the Jeff Wittick submission videos. 
I keep saying it, live forever. You're joking. Either your que- maybe your question is getting like removed because of some like a word that you're saying in it. I'm not sure, but I haven't seen a question. So if you want to ask me a question, you can go on Instagram, go on an email, message me, do this, do that. Thank you. Thank you, Layla. That is so kind of you. Ella, my New Year's resolution, I have a lot, but I think like overall being more positive, taking things and looking at it in a positive light, even though, even if they feel negative in the moment, I think that's what I would say. I don't know what your question is. That's my way. I keep saying it. That's my way. That's my question. Can you follow me? Oh, yeah, I'll follow you. If that's what your question... You could have said that. Oh, wait, I can't follow it from the screen, but... Wait, how do I... I don't even know how to do that. But I'll go on your channel and do it. Okay. Don't do it five, one to five. Yes, I will not do that. Okay, bye, everybody. See you next live.